Cappy. Hi, Hello, yo. Welcome to Iron Geek Cast 80. Because restricting what can be downloaded from the internet always worked before. That's a long <laughs> ass title, I know, but. <laughs> uh, hi, say uh, hello, everybody, and do your introductions. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Howdy. This is Israel. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in the States, everybody. Woo! You got some badass jet lag? Are you getting your times adjusted? Uh, no, I got back uh, two weeks ago, so I'm fully ready to go. Uh, classes are all done. I couldn't make the cast last week. I was in the States last week, but um, classes are all done, and it's looking like I'm getting a 4.0 from this. So, woo! Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Well, so you go to the Netherlands. You spend like next to no money while you're there. Stuff later on in the show. Um, uh, so I went over, studied abroad there for six months for video game design and programming. Um, there was eight weeks, or sorry, it was a 16 week minor course. Um, I, as I was doing that within the last month, I looked at the um, next classes that I could take for the coming semester. It turns out I couldn't take any. <laughs> so I needed to start taking classes while I was over in the Netherlands for my class or for the university that I go to in the States. So I was double, doubled up on schoolwork while I was studying abroad. <laughs> I... But I got A's in both old compared to you. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Just, just, just for any like young, like people that may listen to this and will be going to college, don't ever do that. I, I had to do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, as, as someone who's done twenty two credits a semester before, uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it may sound good to like get your shit done early, but it's not <laughs> worth like the mental stress it'll do to you. It'll just fuck you up. Yeah, I took it low and slow. I think I, I took me uh low and slow. Nice. Six years, <laughs> seven years to get my bachelor's. Okay. Yeah, I did it all very. Yeah, I did it all very white romantic like. Slow and slow. Slow and slow. <laughs> I was like all oh, romantic, my degree and shit. Ah. So, so you gave your college the uh, the slow copy, right? Slow. <laughs> oh, shit. Slow. And banned. <laughs> And by Darren, I drugged no one at my college, to my knowledge. Wait, what? No, I said, I said to your college, not at your college. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we might be fine, and I might, we might be on to something here, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> we need to dig further. <laughs> get it? Get get Adrian more mead. <laughs> yeah, do it now, man. I'm, I'm cutting oh. that shit out for a few months. I got, I got to get myself back. Yeah, right. in the Wait. I want my chin back. <laughs> Chins are one. nice. Just one of them. Just, just one. Chin. I don't know. I, I love it this way. I give a shit to the soy boys I see on online, and one of the number one things that you know, I look at them and I see that soft, soft chin, which a lot of them cover up with a goony beard. Now, I don't think my beard was ever quite goony. It generally went out to full mountain man pretty fucking quick. But um, <laughs> now nah, I don't want to have that weak, weak jaw look. So I'm trying to get my weight back down and get my bench press up and. Get some exercise in. I've been hiking at least like three miles a day. Nice. One day I did like fucking ten because my roommate was like, "Hey, let's go do this." After I only walked five miles, he was like, "Let's do go across the bridge." And then after that, the Fourth Street Bridge, not Fourth Street, the uh, Big Four Bridge, is like a mile across both. You know, so go both ways. It's two miles. Then he wanted to go out to Mount Saint Francis, and that we walked out there for like I don't know, not quite three miles. But then between that and other things I did today. Man, I was I was getting sore and ready to sleep that night though. I bet. <laughs> uh, hacker cons I got coming up. By the way, I've opened up a, a Patreon and made it to monthly. If anybody actually wants to help me with this, if I can get enough donations, I'd like to be able to go full time recording cons. But I don't think that's probably ever going to happen. But if you go out there to Patreon.com/slash Iron Geek, I have a thing where you can put a monthly donation in, and even if it's just like a dollar per month helps my ass out and. Uh, Maybe eventually I'll be able to retire early and do nothing but water the earth like Kane, recording hacker cons. <laughs> but I, I'm at, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm in a dead space for cons right now, so I don't have anything till um, yeah, September. Derby. 
Well, yeah, but at, well, do yeah, it's October. Way. Yeah, it's October. My bad. Yeah, so I got dead space here for a bit. Uh, Gurkhan 2018 is on September 6th and 7th. That's the next one I got. Louisville InfoSec is on uh, October 2nd. Uh, DerbyCon is October 5th through the 7th. Um, and I got to in here twice. Oh, but by the way, I think 3rd through the 7th is actually when the actual main con is, though. Um, Besides Rally, I'm tentatively scheduled for. This is pending some life changes. Uh, October 19th and 18th, Wild Wild Hack Fest. That's um, uh, October 25th to 26th. Might be some people there that don't like me very much, but let's see how that goes. InfoWarCon, I'm tentatively set, but there's been some communication issues. November 1 for the 3rd. Uh, Secure West Virginia, uh, November 3rd for the December 2nd. And then that's the last one this year. And I'm thinking B-Sides Philadelphia, but I don't think they have dates yet. I do enjoy B-Sides Philadelphia a whole hell of a lot, though. Uh, and then I got a bunch of ones. Dude, I got stuff going into – I got two cons, technically three if you count DerbyCon. Set yeah. for 2020 already. Wow. Jeez. So, yeah. That besides Tampa, February 2020, and Show Me Con, June 4th, 2020. June 4th, 2020. Yeah. For people that want to go and help Adrian with his uh, recording expensive, the expenses, not expensive. Recording well, they, is expensive. They, they expensive. <laughs> recording is expensive. Here's his uh, page. Yeah, and I need to come up with some top image. You see what it's all gray at the top? I don't have much images of me helping record at different conferences, but the the images are far, few and far between, and I have to ask each person for permission, or at least I feel like I should before I do oh, it. I got you. Um, but, yeah, I need to figure out something to fill that gray space with. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I might have a guy for you after uh, off air. All right. But with that, uh, if anybody has nothing else to do during the intro, I think we can go. Oh, yeah. Angie's cast uh, survey is still out there with Ricky collecting. I'm not sure if Ricky's going to be on tonight. Um, but um, it's out there. And um, I guess that's about it. And we can go into the breach report where I go get myself some uh, dinner out of my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I just got back from a, a four-mile hike. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to take a shower and get down here for this cast. I, I, got, I, I got Mary wanting me to come up to where she lives to do some video recording and i'm like it's too late in the evening and you want me to get up too early yes. <laughs> just record it with your camera with your with your phone camera <laughs> all right you all yeah. get to the breach report i'm gonna go get you some um grub there you yeah. go think of how bad it smells in minnesota well yeah i mean wait i think you're closer still yeah you were in the netherlands and fighters oh, classic yeah. um but yeah, yeah. What a time, what a time. So let's rock out with some show notes. What we got up. Of credit uh, monitoring. Of, I, no, of identity <laughs> protection services at yeah. no cost. Well, even if you're the, uh, you know, if you're the, if you're the, and you never see anything disclosed about you. Hypothetically, hypothetically, would one be laughing because they just gave me a timeline and I've got my retirement exactly. next year. I would one be laughing because they just gave me a timeline and I've got my return next year. Just like when we're going to pull out of Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Ugh, I just took the largest swig of water. You almost made me like die. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, hey, that's some good American water. <laughs> <laughs> Aquafina. Aqua I'm purified well. by reverse osmosis. Talking about credit monitoring, there is a uh, a law that will take effect here. Sure, which which day it is? I think it's uh, September. That uh, in some states you have to pay for credit freezes and unfreezes. That will change. It will now be free for everyone everywhere. Someone's excited about that. <laughs> yeah. You excited about credit freeze? Until she's eighteen at least. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody's gonna look at it until they're eighteen. If I know, mm -hmm. oh crap! Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm definitely gonna look into that because yeah. can't have nobody using your because <laughs> they'd be frantically emailing people on their machines. <laughs> so I'm when like, Bad, yeah. I, I think I tweeted flu shot the day that it came out. So. so when Bad Rabbit hit last year, I'm in with my wife. A, a bubble vomit of um, bubble <laughs> diarrhea of Debian. Sorry, wanna, does it look chipotle? I don't know what the hell it looks like. No, it looks, it looks Palo, like Palo, Ohio. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go on to the next. I believe so, yeah.
they started literally selling car phones back when you know car right. thing, but yeah. they've since moved to uh, uh, all kinds they, of mobile phones. Car phones are still a thing. I love my well, bank phone. Yes, right. they are still a thing. Technically, you can still get cards with cellular phones built into them, but they've moved on to more portable communication now. Oh, uh, their site is. Uh, sorry, and, what Webzine on their site is garbage. It's annoying. Who on <laughs> Cyber Scoops? No, on Dixon's car phone. Oh. <laughs> hey. Way to and call the only, out some... the only song I can think of when I hear this story is Wham! Last Christmas, where he's like, Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. Mm. I don't know. Just typed random letters. Just yeah. interesting, see it. Interesting thing. So, if Paige and you say that you just type something, it shows up. That's actually kind of cool. You just type something, it shows up. It's actually kind of cool. Uh -huh. CSS. I actually, on Cyber Scoops? On Cyber Scoop, yeah. I didn't know that. Ajax yeah. was a mistake. <laughs> JavaScript frameworks are a mistake. Yes. You know, you know what I was watching. You know, I just had to. I'm not gonna say suffer because I had an awesome childhood. Well, yeah. So I, I was not born yet, but I remember <laughs> growing up and seeing reruns of it. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. Was, yeah. Every weekend uh, at my house was Beavis and Butthead when that first came out. The Mega Death, the Def Leppard, like, and even like the guitars and stuff. And he was like, Sad. "Oh yeah." Yeah, that sounds yeah. that sounds like uh, another version of me. As I look yeah. over to my guitar and my you know, expertise is in those fields. You know what's funny? Um, their moment, you know, just because broke up with who and yeah, that's what started it all. Beavis and Butthead made us crazy. Cause think about it, we walk around every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and they and they wanted something to be wrong with themselves. You know what? You know what's crazy though. I'm so glad. Imagine us doing this in this era. They'd have us on so much dope than ADD. We wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. You make oh. one out. <laughs> Give them the medicine. Give them the medicine. Now, I know. I, I grew up doing that. I grew up my 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 younger like, play out at the dinner yeah. table and like and like act out entire movie mm -hmm. scenes from like The Princess Bride, from Star mm -hmm. Wars, um, just anything that we were watching that day. We would do the entire bit. So I don't know how we're not on. Well, he is, but that's for a different reason. <laughs> Trust me, I had I, I had a weird imagination. I remember I jumped off the bed and hurt myself, and I remember I jumped off the bed and hurt myself, and I thought I was gonna bounce like a gummy bear. Okay, <laughs> that didn't work. I drunk I drunk the Hawaii the pain, like oh I really can't bounce in real life. You can't. Hey Charles, did you become yeah. propane and propane accessories? The, no, pain kill. Are you sure you haven't become pro are you sure you haven't become propane? No propane. <laughs> owie. Owie. <laughs> owie. Bad owie. What is, what, Already what bad. Going, yeah, what is going right. on, Owie? Go to your corner. Oh, fuck you. I'm not going to the corner today. I'm smug anime anime face. <laughs> Every everyone do the E V call. Evie! <laughs> You, no, no. They have oh, to later. Hmm? Oh, she'll be on later. All right. So, all right. So let us continue to the Continue's next on. of the breach report. Since we've we've gone on one tangent, oh. I'm holding it's it to one. Right, can I just go on a for a second? Because I got to rage for just a second. <laughs> rage. Yeah, go for it. Against some, right, shit. Right. some shit. Like instead of just taking a punch at home, the interlopers would call police, who will respond and quite likely side the Proud Boys. First of all, the Proud Boys aren't fascists or Nazis. Do some fucking research into them. Whole shitload of them have issue marriages and kids and other shit. Now, some of them, the ones that are associated with, they ain't Caucasian. So, pretty hard to call them Nazis. Uh, they're fucking weird and cringy as fuck. Yes. And also, yes, they're going to call the cops when you physically assault someone or steal their shit. The cops are to be called, and the cops will likely side with the person who got their shit stolen or was assaulted. No mm -hmm. shit, that's what happens, you dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, continue. It's all good. I, I it's a good point. Yeah, no, no, no. Various places he, he and, violence. Yeah, and that's yeah. our weekly report, guys. Yeah. Sorry. That's <laughs> a big number. So yeah, that is a big number. So ICO. 
And I looked them up. So, they Random reported guess. that suspected attackers uh, managed to gain direct access to smart contract. To yeah. Well, for that. And, um, oh, that's actually a higher valuation than what they're say a higher valuation than what they're. Uh, when does this ten, happen? Ten, July ten and a half. Ten and a half million. My math was off. <laughs> yeah, d- July twenty sixth. So let's see where that was at. When twenty sixth, July twenty sixth, February, March, April, May, June, July twenty sixth. Huh. Damn, the value's gone up. Yeah, oh. right when the breach happened. Yeah. So right here, it was sitting at ten cents. So yeah. Okay. And now it's gone up yeah, again, that probably that because. A threat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's at least interesting. At least it's accurate. Yeah. Very nice. But that guy is probably has. So if he he's still seven million, that means now he has ten million. If he still got those coins. Yeesh. All right. That's fun. Yeesh. Right. That's fun to think about. <laughs> yeah. Now, now does, does Kitcoin work the same way as Ethereum does? Because it said smart contract. So I I like, think so. Is it, does I, it work the same way as Ethereum? Okay. So my understanding is a lot of these smart contract platforms are actually just Ethereum fork in a different blockchain. Gotcha. Uh, that makes sense. Because the Ethereum blockchain is open source. Software, for, software for it is open source. Um, so for people that don't know, um, the difference between or when you're mining Ethereum, you're actually running what's called a contract, which is just this piece of code that parses a bunch of data. And then you get paid um, your, depending on how much data you process, you get paid your uh, share in Ethereum or any other coin. So kick kick ICO or kick or uses the currency kick coin. Uh, so you would have the same coin co- or you would have kick coin coming at you on this blockchain instead on this blockchain instead. Kick curb. Kick. Ooh, that would have been a good, that would have been a good name for this spot. So, spot run. I'm I'm just gonna peer at the shots. I feel like we've been covering cryptocurrencies just about every week for the last month or so. Dude, it was yeah. it's the new hotness and like we're all about this. Most of these people have no idea what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of the thing that I'm 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 with you on that. It's so new that I don't feel like people have enough and they're just trying to get on a bandwagon. But go ahead, Liz. So I'm I'm not sure if you covered this or not, but I, I just browsed my Twitter feed and I'm, uh, my mind a little bit blanked for a moment there. Um, Bill Clinton reduced his shilling shit coins to make me feel inappropriate. You're breaking up, man. Uh, yeah, okay. So Bill apparently keynoting uh, uh, finance conference is uh, called Swell. By Ripple, yeah, you are garbled. Uh, like oh. 12, 2018. Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you? Yes. Could you, can, can you send me a link so I can like get it into the uh, or I can share that article or that tweet. Re- reach just, your hops. Just go well by Ripple. It should be the first match, and apparently he's keynoting that. Um no. And for whatever reason, no Clinton there is. is. Yeah, Bill Clinton. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Talking about the- Maybe what? instead of this. God dang it, Dan. Monica, stay under the desk. So, it, like, like, Clinton coins, what's the what's the proof of work there? Blowjobs? Like, how many, how many times you come? <laughs> how many uh, times you... No, no, no. It's the one contract. It's just echoing out, I did not have a relations with that woman. <laughs> but, well, but what's the proof of work there? It's just how many times is, is you, you have it. to say... Come on, you have to be a little bit better than that. It has to be ejaculation along with that. Oh, everyone can say that, but not everyone is going to have a Bill Clinton ejaculating with Monica Lewinsky under their desk. Come on. Oh, I think like a bobblehead of it. <laughs> <laughs> My God. It comes, with, <laughs> it comes with a complimentary cigar. 
I swear, all all this weirdness and absurdity is its own paralysis. It's it, it's too busy laughing to realize this is actually happening. This is actually real. Oh, <laughs> well, it, uh, Sorry, Liz. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'd like to point so out we it's live in a reality. So often these days. Go ahead. I'd like to point out we live in a reality where Bill Clinton is showing an alternate digital currency that is based on the same shit. Weren't the Crow Wars back in the Clinton administration? Yep, crypto wars are back in yep. the Clinton administration. Yes, but this is a different kind of crypto. Yes, yes but it's based on that kind of crypto. Uh, yeah, by that logic, well, every based off of that kind of crypto. Well, yeah, the crypto, the crypto wars is the ability was the. Um, oh, I just researched this. Um, was giving private or was giving the public and. Um, stronger encryption and better encryption than what they had before and um get, re, and it was an attempt by the NSA terms. to mandate um key escrow within a commercial product that tried to advertise mm -hmm. encrypted phone calls they tried to mandate uh something called a clipper chip a physical chip that would be included in every single one of these encrypt, uh, encrypted phones mm -hmm. It would uh, have encrypted it, if I recall correctly, with the latest and greatest unbreakable single desk encryption. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, and uh, Matt Blaze, some uh, names many of you may know, uh, had found a weakness in it uh, that was apparently so all-encompassing that instead of trying to go back to the drawing board, the NSA gave up their push for backdoor encryption in the 90s. Who gave up their public push? I should clarify. I, I can't really. Everyone knows everything beyond that. Yeah. So there's a. I'm. I'm gonna podcast that I've been listening to. Um. This this guy on uh, Twitter. His name is. Uh, he's at Tunnels Up or Jack Resider on Twitter. He actually went and got. I'm trying to remember her name. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Crypto Wars. This is one of his first episodes, I think. Crypto wars. There it is. He actually goes over uh, yeah. pretty well the crypto wars with the clipper chip that we just discussed. He goes into deep crack founding of the EFF. <clears throat> and um, Cindy Cohn is on this. And uh, I believe, let me just look real quick. I believe she's one of the founders. She's the executive director um, of the EFF from 2000. So the EFF came, bef uh, no, came yeah, before was... the Clipper chip. Oh, it the was. The EFF came because somebody raided a fucking tabletop gaming because they so, cracked down on corrupt cyberpunk. EFF was created in response to something called Operation Sun Devil, which, if I recall correctly, um, you, you can all Google Operation Sun Devil. There's a Wikipedia page on it. Uh, which was an initiative, if I recall correctly, by the Secret Service to crack down on hackers as much as they could. Back, I believe it was around the late '80s, early '90s, sometime, something around that time period. Yes, uh, and one of the people raided. Um, I forget specifically. It, it was something about fake hacking. It was, if I recall correctly, some sort of role-playing hacking. Yeah, corrupt was cyber. Going hacking. Yeah, corrupt was cyber going fun. on on their message board. Yeah, some yeah, kind of cyberpunk role playing was, was going on. Cyberpunk that was the thing that was in question. And uh, for whatever reason, the Secret Service had confiscated that um, ser entire server. That server had managed more than just the role play hacking. Uh, uh, it also managed that um, tabletop store's entire business, uh, business record. So, as a result of that whole fiasco, it is my understanding that the EFF was formed. Uh, as a method to kind of get some kind of legal way to fight back against uh, uh, overbroad actions by the law enforcement. That and keep in mind, uh, this is around the same period where there were hackers who successfully convinced the FBI that there were secret compartments inside of magnetic hard drives. That the only way how you could open them was by rubbing a very strong magnet against it. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is an actual court document. Awesome. Oh, oh yes. my god. So, uh, it was, no matter how bad some of you think of um, 
many uh, federal officials their understanding of technology, it was a bit worse back then. Yeah. Right. Although I, 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 that that story will hold a special place in my heart. Just if I'm ever feeling down, that will always get me to laugh. I kind of. <laughs> I kind of, uh, I, I really enjoy the stories from the 80s where people would just, or like ha hackers from the 80s and 90s, because they were just troll, like they were the original trolls. They would just hack to troll. It was just funny. There was, oh yeah. Funny, funny, most, most, a lot of it was fun in games. A lot of it, I'm sure it's the way that it is now. A lot of it's fun in games and a lot of it is like, yeah, we're, ha I'm hacking to hurt people. So, mm. <laughs> From my understanding, yeah, plenty of fun in games. I've seen a recording of um, broadcast that was hijacked. Uh, you know, oh, the Max specifics, Edwin? but there was some. Is that the one that where a Doctor Who episode was hijacked? I think it was the one where. Hang on, I have to pull it up because. This oh is yeah, glorious! Yeah, yeah. One second, one second, one it, second. No, no one found out who it was. It, I was going to say like a. Uh, Ico being hijacked here. Um, that's really not. Uh, yeah, that's, I stole CBS. Holy shit! Your save that, arrived. Yeah, I was I going think, to say your save. Your save. Your heads arrived. If you're hacking an Ico. I think <laughs> it, around that time period was around the time where there was no actual encryption on the feed. So the way you can hijack a signal was broadcast your signal stronger than the TV station signal to yep. who closer to your recipient. And your signal would, yeah. Hey, hey, you have to play the whole Max Headroom incident. It's on YouTube. It's glorious. We will. We, yeah, yes, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go for anyone in the audience that wants to go and see that. Look it up. I will put that in the show notes as well. I will be doing that right now. It, so. it's, it's strange, but it is an example of, uh, I guess you could call it trolling from the 80s. Yeah, oh yeah, only from the eighties. Oh yeah, and if you guys have seen um, Eminem's Rap God video, music yes. video, he has an ode to Max Headroom, which is oh, my, yes. that, which is that's awesome. Yeah, 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 which is awesome. <laughs> I did <laughs> not know that. that I know Evie's awesome. going to yell about this, but in the book Ready Player One, uh, Parzival's uh, virtual assistant is, is Max Headroom. <laughs> okay right. i didn't well, that's impressive so i'm going to yell about it only because the book is terrible <laughs> like i am not going to lie like uh ready player one is one of the worst pieces of literature i've ever fucking read finally the movie was better do i need to clockwork orange you and <laughs> oh my gosh, let's not. Let's, it's let's, not, let's not gonna happen, Ellie. People. I did want to wrap no, up. It's not going to happen. Didn't wrap up that uh, not everything from the uh, hacker scene back then was all um, trolling, fun, game. fun and games. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, if some of you have been paying attention to Twitter as of late, um, there's been a bit of discussion in certain circles where people are saying that the hacker community back then is not all unified, not all fun and games. There was a, a lot of hostility. There were, um, you know, if anyone thought there was leaking a zero day, uh, leaking an internal group zero day to someone else, uh, there would be a lot of threats going on, death threats, attempts to get people to kill themselves. It, there was quite a bit of hostility and intergroup uh, clashes to for dominance back then, cultural dominance and otherwise. Mm. So yes, there's plenty of trolling, but in between groups, uh, it was not all fun and games. Well, depending on your depending on your view of uh, what trying to get someone to kill themselves is, because yeah, there are people these days who consider that to be fun and games, and that's quite probable. Some people back then thought the same. Mm. So mm. I'm just gonna say this right now. If I catch you doing that shit, you're done. <laughs> I all right. And uh, yeah, oh. go ahead. I was gonna say on that note, let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> yes. Yes. Please. I agree. Off. I agree because this yeah, is I agree. Off, uh, I'm not gonna talk about death pushes here. All right. Right all right. Let's not go down too dark of a path before we let's get. Let's just this. make it very clear: we do not contone that shit, and we actively. Uh, what's the proper word I'm looking for? Oh, yes, condemn that bullshit. 
<laughs> yes. Okay, so next up is my Ether wallet and Hola Hola VPN. Get so, wait, Ola? isn't Hola the Israeli thing? Uh, I'm, I'm only looking place it up. I ever see it on logs is people in Mexico trying to access it. So, from um, my... that is a free, a freemium, that stupid word, web yes. and mobile application which provides a form of, of virtual private network services to its users. So, a VPN through a peer to peer network. It also uses peer to peer caching. It was founded in 2008. It's headquartered in Israel and its wow. founder is, is uh, Arthur Volinsky. And um, Shrivman, sorry. So I was the same one I was thinking of. There was yeah. a lot of controversy over that a few years ago about how, well, I guess more so the model, how anyone can pretty much man the middle complete strangers traffic by design. Yeah. But up, up, up. I mean, so cool. So pop, let's get to my yeah. Ether wallet being gone. What? What? Whenever they were, that's a dude. Where's my wallet? That's the best uh, headline for that one. Um, um, I'm going to say if you're using an online wallet, I have news. If you know what I mean. Don't. <laughs> well, um, well, well, are you getting to that they should use a physical wallet, like one that a certain Joffy said is unhackable? And yesterday, day before, they, they already have root on it. They already owned that. Wait. Sorry, sorry. What do, what do you, so, uh, don't get me wrong. McAfee is kind of all we constantly say shitty things. But what do you mean getting root on a wallet? You like haven't it, been watching this go so down. She ha so he has a private. So he somehow acquired the wallet's right. private key. Not, not he doesn't have a private key, but he has root on the wallet because it's an Android. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to clarify this. We need to clarify this. We need to clarify this. <laughs> so I think okay. the here is that. Liz is thinking we're talking about John McAfee's Bitcoin wallet, when really what we're talking about is the wallet McAfee is shilling is unhackable as a product. Yes, I, a, I, I got that based, based on that he's, that he's when Evie mentioned Android phone. That's when I realized, oh, that's what she's talking about. Yeah. Okay. And then I thought McAfee, and he said, oh, must have given a challenge to hack it because that's the only way I would think yes. Cyber Gibbons to try to hack hack someone else's stuff and say so publicly because he's so. You know, he's such a nonchalant guy that he just obviously is going to throw out there. It is un listening. Don't know Cyber Gibbons, and you, if you have any interest at all in uh, hardware hacking, excellent, excellent, excellent uh, Twitter account to follow. Yeah, here is his uh, Twitter account um, right now. He's going through. I, I just want to point out that his uh, his Twitter account has gotten more and more graphic since he has. Uh, Hacked the uh, cyber wallet. It is more and oh, more goaty constantly. It's consistently more goaty. Yeah, it's gotten more and more goaty since then. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering what this was referring to. I'm like, this looks familiar. <laughs> no, no, no. It's gotten more and more goaty, dude. Like, yeah. it's just every, I... every time he finds something new about the wallet, he just makes it more and more goaty. Oh my god! Wouldn't that be more appropriate just to make the hole wider every time he finds something new? <laughs> I'm really just waiting for him to sit his avatar to goatsy. Really, I am. I th I don't know. Is it Twitter? I on Twitter <sighs> on Twitter that's a ban immediately. I do yeah, not I, think I, so actually. I mean, I've seen I haven't porn avatars. I'm now, how explicit what? have you seen us porn avatars? Yeah, I'm curious what exactly that's fucking on Twitter porn wise. Because I've seen a lot of porn accounts that f show. Full everything, and um, I know Sargon of Akkad used to throw, send um, what was it, uh, gay interracial gay. porn to alt writers, uh, <laughs> and I found that that wasn't apparently what got him banned. Something else got him banned. So I'm, Twitter seems pretty wild and loose with the porn. Yeah, Twitter is perfectly fine with you posting porn on your account. I'm not so sure. Career, Twitter account. I rest my case. Last, last I saw. For me what I mean, does it, does it show? I think the worst of actually deals for um, Avatar. Are you saying they allow something more explicit than that? Because in many parts of the world, frontal nudity of the nipples is not considered to be particularly explicit, mainly in European sure nations. You know, full on intercourse and shit before on Twitter. Uh, on the uh, on the Avatar, the icon. Not the Avatar. I mean, like in a post. 
Oh yes, absolutely. That Twitter's fine with that. We're talking specifically about the uh, uh, icon. Yeah, you know what? I can create an alt account and we can test this. <laughs> well, while you're I doing, was going to say Twitter doesn't care what the fuck you post overall. Uh, is, it, is it is it Twitter or Facebook that's getting scrutinized? Ah, well, that, both, that's a, both, that's a, both. That's, both. That's, okay, both are getting scrutinized for that. The but only that's way you get banned from Twitter or locked out from Twitter is if you either piss off a snowflake and they brigade you, or if you pose as Elon Musk. Hey, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Morb's doing that right now, and also, how is Adrian still on Twitter then? <laughs> well, I've never been Elon Musk. Well, Okay, so if no, you no, change, no, no. if you change your name to Elon Musk, um, all you have to do is go through the captcha, and they'll let you back into Twitter. Well, will they let you keep the name? Yes. Yeah. There's a, there's a guy that I followed that changed his name, and uh, Elon Musk actually replied to him. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that does reckon is something that Elon would probably be cool with. Wait. Elon. Pretty chill on Twitter, at least. With, from what with I've me, seen. Um and Elon Musk, it's more or less me just being like, okay, so form actually doesn't actually work. And here's why. Because I've actually been reading news articles about, you know, autopilot and Tesla and all that. And I still have Tesla fanboys like messaging me saying, oh no, you're wrong. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. And then I link them the stuff and they're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, that's now a hobby of mine at this point. Um, just, just ripping on Tesla fan or Musk fanboys. Can we call them muskies? Yeah, but you also have to consider, like, I have an account called Barklon Husk. That's a oh, yeah. you have to call you Bar have to call it by Vice's nickname of Elon, of um, Elon Musk's fans, Musk Bros. Musk Bros. Be no, no, because no. This, but in, this in no way sounds like something from an interracial gay porn website. Hey, what about Musk Liz. lovers? I mean, they love Musk. They Musk really friends. Love Musk. Liz. But Barklon is a cyborg husky from Mars. What else can I call him other than Barklon Husk? See, the two thing, bad things I've heard about Elon Musk is, one, as much as uh, people make out his uh, you know, self-made you know, uh, tech giant and so forth, that he has accepted a lot of money from the U.S. government. I'm not sure how true that is, but I've heard that is one thing. Oh, no, it's very yes. true. It's very yeah. true, Adrian. Okay, I, I, I'll buy it. I, 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 I just don't know enough about it. That's what I've heard. And I'll, I'll buy that who completely. Do you, who I've do you think it. pays for a lot of his launches and shit? I've who do you think subsidizes Tesla? Tesla? I was watching a, a video by a guy who goes by the handle Thunderfoot, and apparently the Hyperloop is mostly a pipe dream. Uh, pardon the uh, uh, pardon the joke, because uh, my understanding <laughs> the physics of it and the dangers of it failing are pretty big. Like my understanding, someone with a fifty caliber rifle hitting that um, tube that's vacuum will, can totally fuck up. <laughs> A train car going through that through the tube. So I don't know the physics myself, but um, Thunderfoot has a whole video on uh, the impracticalities of the Hyperloop. Adrian, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Um, I could have told you the Hyperloop was impractical without, you know, any sort of uh, sabotage with like someone shooting at it, only because. Um, you know, it took an hour or two uh, pressurize the Hyperloop for the uh, test track. And how do how long do you think it's going to take for between uh, Los Angeles and um, San Francisco? A long ass time, and you have to be damn careful not to be sure it's not even any kind of leaks. How how big is the compressor? I don't know how big the compressor is, but it's still going to take a fucking long ass time, and you know it. Because yeah, it it probably it probably will take a long time. But if you were continuously, uh, I'm not a physics major, but my thought on, and I'm not condone, I'm not like going against you at all. But if you have, if you're on a, te if you're testing something like the Hyperloop. 
wouldn't you test it in a smaller scale with a smaller compressor uh, to, or with a smaller air compressor, blah, 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 to pressurize the loop and then send it? How, how big was that loop for the test, you know? The test loop was one mile. Okay. So one mile, one hour of pressure. Uh, okay. Yeah. They're going to need to have it. A was, big, it took I'll, I'll longer look it up. than one hour. I mean, no, uh, not arguing for it, just kind of devil's advocate. If you get the compression up, you know, whenever people, they go into a decompression. I'm trying to find images of the hyperloop to see how big the compressor is or how big the thing is while i'm doing that, while i'm doing that let's move on to the next breach next breach oh this oh i want to be in on this one this sounds funny <laughs> <laughs> this is great our state archives state historical societies and a state department of cultural artifacts have all received letters addressed specifically to them. It's not clear if anyone at these agencies was tricked into actually inserting the CD into a government computer. Very faded, and also you have Mandarin symbols here. So, huh? <laughs> hopefully no one... I, I mean, this is like these 10 years ago. I, 15 this, this years is, ago. This, this is like an advanced version of that uh, scattered USB sticks around a parking lot technique. So yeah. it's like it's actually like really neat, I think, because it actually could be a very new attack vector, especially for you know journalists and shit like that. Because oh, you get a report from someone saying, oh, here's some you know human rights abuses. Plug it in, see. Oh, uh, dude. Oh. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm just kind of shrugging right now. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm, I mean, it's I'm at a loss if anybody actually outside of security research actually puts it in and executes then oh yeah, maybe they should have put like um Backstreet Boys or Imagine Dragons, Dragons, yeah. Exactly. Maybe the system wants want to plug it in just to verify, oh my god, what is, <gasps> does our password actually in here? <laughs> <laughs> here? <laughs> Liz, you actually have like three lizards at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can put uh, there will be more in the future. They are I, adorable and I love them. <laughs> yes. I just want to say <laughs> I, I love how these are they're I love how these are they're they're not even full CDs, they're the micro CDs. The micro discs. I, I, I wish I had a list here to one one of these days, but they're not mine, sadly. Uh, you need to get a toke because they are biteys. Beverly. Hmm. My mother was trying to get me to go and get another cat. I'm like, no, we don't need another cat. <laughs> uh, get something that bites. I'm going to get a Tengu. Yeah, right. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to get a Tengu? I, I, I was. I'm not going to get something that bites. I'm just saying, if I was planning on, on getting something that bites, I may as well go full throttle and get something that, uh, uh, if it bites, it hurts. You get huh? the guard lizard. <laughs> get the guard lizard. <laughs> Fair point. Um, you know? have it, like, right at the oh, you can, dude. You can make a security system to where you have the cage right next to your uh. to like the door, and if you don't disable it, it opens a sliding door to open up the cage to that, and then it to the guard up. lizard, the ve the venomous guard lizard, venomous guard lizard. Yes. Better With than guns. <laughs> I um, guns are banned. We used animal snakes. <laughs> I have been meaning to get you a picture of the house gecker goes that are around by me mm. for a while, but like I try to get a picture and then they run, and I'm like, no, I want to get a picture. You're cute. You have an actual uh, digital camera with real zoom, or just a phone? A uh, phone, but yeah. Yeah, some of the nature stuff I do on hikes, I kind of want to get me a real camera now with a real zoom because my the phone on my my phone's uh, camera's not bad, but you don't you don't have a real zoom. Adrian, what do you need a big black assault camera for? So I can assault people like you. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> I need more guns in my life. Yes, yes, I, I would love to see a pick of your cute, cute little listeners. Did you say friends or guns? Guns. guns. 
Yes, okay. It, 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 we're getting there. <laughs> we're we're getting there. Well, you need to hit the next priority because uh, August is by your husband a gun. So you need to find a, a wife so that you can get your, you know your August gun. Uh, Wait, uh, dang. Where, where I gotta get married that? real quick. On my Facebook today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Liz, if I had access to um real uh a real picture app, I would be sending you pictures of the lizards I see, just so you know. I see so, curly tails and geckos and sometimes uh red headed agamas. <laughs> Adrian pulled out the forty four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. Speak I'm gonna do a math real quick. Six fifty five hey, by three. What you have, what you do math, Adrian has a toy. <laughs> well, oh, hell yeah. Religions. So I did this okay, so I did this very quickly. Um for them to get all six hundred and fifty uh systems back up or decommissioned or get all the services either moved to another spot. Um to get them all up and get them all cleaned, that's 216.6 repeating um, systems a week. There's 16 systems a week. Yes. For the next three weeks. So I, I'm with you on that, Israel. There's I mean, even, not... even, I mean, some of these. Wouldn't, hey, there's the AR, AR 15. Nope. That's upstairs. Oh. Oh, that's oh. your KSG. KSG, pump action shotgun. Oh, nice. nice, brother. It's the dual tube one. Red dot side on top. Because the, um, like, right, the green laser is no good in the day, Ty. No, mm -hmm. granddaddy. September 2013 is when it first showed up. And uh, 2013 is when it first showed up. And uh, for some reason, I recognize this. Because of everyone? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I think I... <laughs> okay, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you were what, like four? No, 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 no. <laughs> Twenty, uh, 2013, uh, minus... 17. Five, no, 13. <laughs> five, I was... 16. 16. Yeah, Cri Cap crypto, crypto wear has only been around for five years. No, yeah. no, 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 it's long. years. No, yeah. no, 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 it's... And that was like one of the very, very first, if not the first, <laughs> one of the first. I think it was. I, this was, I think, when I was twelve. Twelve. So, so like four years ago, dude. No, I'm gonna be. No, it's a year ago. It's a year ago. He's only thirteen years old. He's only <laughs> barely old enough to get on the internet legally. <laughs> anyway, be nice. He's no. starting to find hair in weird places. <laughs> You've seen everyone has seen my face. <laughs> I am a very I uh yeah immature motherfucker. You're as immature as the rest of us. Not not as much as you are, Owie. Not as much as you are. Okay, you're right. I am the most immature motherfucker here. I don't care. No, I think when I was 13, there was a, a similar uh, the there was a similar um kind of ransomware that took over my machine. Um, back in 2013, that is eight years ago. So in 2010, that used the same logo. And I think it did the exact same kind of thing. However, uh, I was able to get it off with some help. Uh, get it off? From, from get Clinton. the rent off of the machine <laughs> and get my files back of my uh, software engineer dad. <laughs> Mm. Which was fun. Anyway. So, crypto... This is, rough. <sighs> is this like... Uh, so, for something this old to pop up today... Or, not today. Pop up yesterday. That's not good. <laughs> Just for infrastructure sakes. Yeah, they had, like, no patching management, obviously. Well, and, and, and this was... What, this was government, right? Yes. Okay. Well, like city government level, but yeah, government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. City, city government, which 
Yeah, and out in Alaska. Yeah, I see them. I'm just happy they got the internet. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy they got the internet. Not for long. <laughs> they're going after people that don't exactly have good internet, like Liz and such. Or people they think don't have good internet in general. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. All well, right. they still, at least with that, the data that was compromised is unique at this point in the whole public, public data dump. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you know, uh, Pound.com should just be a static site at this point that just reads yes in big red static letters. <laughs> I'll, I am I'll make have I been pwned to. Yes. I'll, I'll make have I been pwned to say it just says. Sorry for yes. interrupting. Go ahead and continue. Yeah. Uh, so just last thing on this one. Uh, if you know how long they were in the network, how long they were grabbing things until. Why would they think they're gone from the network if they just now discovered the bridge? Exactly. So they, they most likely have been in the network for that full 10 years now. Almost. Also, hey, it's a I... university, so it's probably much more than just one or even ten uh, holes into a university. They're, they're pretty yeah, much Swiss yeah, cheese. Yeah. Almost every university in the entire, God, probably the entire world. Well, oh. Shit. I was going to say, that feels like too little, too late. Yeah. yeah. Well, not working there currently right now. Um, yeah, I had to give them my social, so that's in their database somewhere so i mean i was a student worker and i'm pretty sure i have access to the uh, student database at pbsc it's just you know god damn it they should know better so i'm conf i'm confused by one by this quote in the article from um uh wilk and he's the representative from or where is he from actually Ryan Will, oh, Vice oh. President of New Data Security. Um, <sighs> TLDR from his quote is that this was extreme sophistication, hard to uncover breach that takes a long time to reveal. And I'm like, well, not if you're not looking for it. <laughs> yeah, and he mentioned that it was a sophisticated breach. Rather enormous, and it data can... can. I, I, so... and, and if you never look at one... You'll never have a clue what's there. <laughs> uh, but, but even so, uh, almost anything these days can, can be considered uh, sophisticated. Yeah, it's fucking 12-year-olds uh, finding a no-login uh, text file containing the administrator password for uh, some major university. That could be considered a sophisticated attack. Sophistic <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. sophisticated attack means... Uh, we didn't see it. <laughs> Until it happened, yes. Uh -huh. It got all of our defenses. I mean, we don't have any defenses, but it still made it around, <laughs> around all of them. We have Windows Firewall. <laughs> <laughs> I would want to cry, so I, I don't know. <laughs> want to cry. Gotcha. Well, okay, next. Uh, I have to go back and fix the show notes later. Formatting is getting screwed up now. Erg. I'll fix it. I will fix it later because this is yeah, no time to do this. So, yeah, Reddit. Woo. Yep. All right, oh well. So thing that I'm looking at right now. And then we're gonna move on past breaches into fun stuff. <laughs> um, and quick skimmed all of, through all of them. Yeah. And, Five minutes before, I was watching the news with my parents, and this showed up, and I was like, oh, we got to talk about it. And I was like, oh, we got to talk about it. So I'm so happy that it's going on. <laughs> well, you got a couple of people yeah. who are at least somewhat gun nuts on the, uh, in the cast, so you can expect us to bring this shit up. I own a, I I wanted to bring oh, yeah. it up because because it it was causing it was causing turmoil it was uh causing dis, uh discussion slash arguments with my me and my family a little bit. Well, I got a bunch of people who's like these politicians saying, "Oh, we must stop this. We must stop this." A bunch of soccer moms saying, "Yes, thank you. It's crazy we do this." Once something's on the internet and any <laughs> popularity at all, 
It's all over the place. Yeah. Let's sure. let's not forget the Streisand effect, which Streisand you know, effect in, yes. But some the things, they, once it's on the internet, it's there forever. That's not quite true because some things people probably don't if they don't care about can yeah. slip through the cracks. So, this won't. Let, so to quick recap, the Streisand effect happened about uh, 15, 20 years ago when Barbara Streisand uh, was the subject of some, I think, some people saying mean shit about her. So she went to try and sue them to uh, get the no, stop. No, they, they, they no, no, no. Pictures oh, of her house, oh, that yeah. beach erosion below. Yes, that's it. Yeah, and then. And and yeah, she tried, tried, tried to sue to remove it, and of course, you know, the backlash from, oh, you're going to sue us? Okay, so it got distributed pretty fucking far and wide. So Yeah, the, the term Streisand Effect was uh, created by Mike Masnick of the website TechDirt. Yeah, let's not forget this uh, picture I just put in the chat there of uh, Beyonce, who she has tried several times to remove, which is now... <laughs> <laughs> Yes. The, the, the act of trying to get it removed is gets it more publicity than I ever would have gotten before. Flies <laughs> like he has. Homegirl definitely squats. Oh, yeah. and, uh, There's a whole picture of this that's even better. Oh yeah, wow. and, and, and so the uh, all the files from Deathcat and such have been shared across uh, 4chan's K board, across Reddit, across you know all these places. So hey guys, you want some 3D print? <laughs> Hey guys, you want some 3D print files? Oh yeah, it's oh, hell yeah. <laughs> let's 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 just uh, and uh, so if you ta da so devcad.com, <laughs> it says you get the splash page if you do not log in, which I did not log in because I don't want to join this. I just want CAD files. This site, after legally committing its files to public domain through a license from the U.S. State Department or Department of State, has been ordered to shut down ordered shut down by a federal judge in the Western District of Washington. Join us to uncensor this site. Uh, no, I'm good. And, and, and to give some clarity, there's they actually got a buy from the U.S. Department of Justice to go ahead and do it. We were so yeah, we were talking about this uh, a couple weeks back. Yeah, um, so they actually had a buy. They actually had full authorization from the DOJ and the Department of State to do it, and a federal judge in Washington issued a restraining order saying you can't do this. And I'm pretty sure that federal judge wants to lose his job because he's going against the DOJ. That's a that's a pretty okay. Fun. Move the deal. So, I, I, not sure if the Department of State. I'm not sure what kind of wide Department of State saying anything would matter in the slightest about this. But uh, the DOJ, the their word carries weight, but the judges aren't beholden to the DOJ. They're a branch of it, though. They're all part of Department uh, of Justice. They are. It, 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 it's not, if that was the case, then uh, the whenever the DOJ ha uh, to sue someone or have any kind of criminal indictment, that would mean that they could just tell the judge, this person is guilty, find them guilty, it's done. No, people challenge the DOJ. Yeah, they do. It, so if the judge is listening to the DOJ like that, it's not, it, it's, they take it under advisement, but it's not kind of like command, like uh, chain of command kind of thing. Well, the good thing is if the DOJ is doing this and they're in court, uh, more than likely it's going to be a uh, trial, which is a uh, jury of your peers, not a judge decision. So at that point, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'm currently downloading the DefCAD's Firearm Complete Files 3D Guns Defense Distributed. Hey, can you toss me those as well? <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll figure out some way to get those to you. Thanks, bro. And here's the thing that gets me about this. All these people freaking out about this. What you get is a crappy low caliber gun that you can only fire a couple rounds out of before it's totally destroyed. It's yeah, and it's a it's a one time use defense weapon. It's the same thing as uh what was it? It's there's this the liberator. Small... No, 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 not the not the liberator, not not their liberator. It's the there's another gun that's on the market that is like that. It's the ah uh, what is it called? It's this tiny gun. I think it's a P twenty seven or something like Come that. Like a Derringer? Yeah, something like that. It's, it's a small but with the entire barrel oh. that was kind of Derringers are adorable. It's they this tiny it's this cute. tiny gun. I was talking I I play uh I, I think it was the Derringer. Yeah, yeah, it's like a door. It, it it's something else. This gun has yeah. a very small magazine. It shot like a it shot an 
like uh, nine mil. I think it was even smaller than that. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, Most I think the are... freak out about them is that they're not made of metal, so they're not going to uh, show up under metal detectors. Uh, but the ammo still has metal. Yeah, yeah. but this is but, true. Okay. This is true. But if you want, but if you want to go through TSA, it's okay. If you if you go through an airport, they look at your bag, <laughs> and you have one of these things in it. They're gonna see it. And, gonna... I mean, even if you have a regular gun in there. They're going to miss it, because how many weapons does TSA miss every year? Hundreds. 95% of them, apparently? Yeah. According to an audit? I mean, wow. it's, it's bad. I mean, you don't, need a, you don't need a 3D printed gun to get by TSA. You can do it with a regular gun and a little creativity. I, a, I, I, I will defer to your yet. judgment there. I don't think it's wise to discuss to attempt things it. with specific <laughs> strategies. Or to attempt it. That would not be wise. Do you, of course. We do condone yeah. or endorse people taking guns through airports. All the people no, we don't. Out, we do acknowledge that there is a possibility it will happen, and don't do it. All the people freaking out about this, there's been patterns out there for zip guns since at least the 60s. The yeah, yeah. The manual that the U.S. Army puts out. I think I got the right name for it. I posted the link in the show notes. Yeah. Yeah, What's a zip gun? It's a one-shot improvised oh, pistol. They're, they're oh. popular in prisons because they can be made with like parts in prisons. No shit. Yeah. I'm not uh, just going to say this. Uh, don't make 3D printed gun. However, that being said, if you do choose to, be aware that it's probably a uh, one shot pea shooter. And yeah, um, biggest... you're not going to do much with it, if you know what I mean. Now, if I remember right, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the caliber right. <sighs> the biggest caliber I've seen from a purely plastic uh, 3D printed gun is. Uh, point three eight zero eight three eighty three eighty yeah, CP, 380. Uh, which which will kill someone. I mean, a twenty two will still kill. Yeah. So yeah. that that was the point yeah. of the Liberator pistol. It was based upon was they're meant to be dropped. They're meant to be cheaply made. They're meant to you know have one one or two shots. You kill someone who's got a gun, like you know you kill an enemy soldier or whoever, and take their gun. That yep. was the point of it. And also to anybody who is watching, uh, show notes are at down under. Iron Geek under Adrian's Iron Geek picture here on YouTube. Download and update. Just don't from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't even need that. You lo you load a uh, acted item for VLC. You might still play, but the shell will also be popped, and you, you won't know. You might still play, but the shell will also be popped, and you, you won't know. Um, uh, also, in regard to uh, zip guns so like you were saying i've been around forever a lot of people don't know about yeah. them and oftentimes all it is is a a pipe um and they can go all the way up to 12 gauge shotgun whatever you want because it'll mm -hmm. fit inside of a pipe you th have the end of the pipe threaded you put your other end on you have a striker on the end and pop friend yeah. is actually 3d printing a uh ar-15 well before this and because there's only certain parts that make the gun an ar-15 if you know what i mean the yeah receiver, if i understand correctly yes yeah, lower receiver. firearm everything yeah, here's, else is auto online here's here's yep. a great graphic uh that uh israel just explained um of how a zip gun r works yep so you would just have this little pin that you'd pop into the uh into the uh is it called into the uh, i'm just gonna say the be dumb today Yep, into the breach, and then it uh, hits the firing pin, and it fires the bullet and throws the shell out. Yeah, along with it and the yeah. bullet as well. I mean, don't do this, but you could take a regular, uh, you know, rim not rim fire, not, a, a center fire them. bullet, a, a center center fire bullet, and hit nail, and it will go off. Of course, yep. you know, don't do it because you'll burn your. <laughs> yeah. You're an idiot, but I'm saying that's all it takes. That's, that's literally manual. all it takes. In that munition manual I linked to, it has a, a pattern for making a 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Uh, do you oh. know what page? Oh, th this <laughs> this document. Oh my gosh, this is going up with, with there with the anarchist cookbook. Ah, there it's it is. Shotgun. It. Oh no, it's actually an Arius Horn military uh, manual. Yeah, cookbook is bullshit mostly. It's kind of crap. It has a lot of political theory, and some of the recipes are a little bit. Yeah, the, the, the munition angle made by the U.S. military is much better. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've owned one of these since like the early 90s. Uh, so recently... Oh, feedback. feedback. 
Sorry. You're giving feedback uh, from your uh, PC. Uh, yeah. So recently, I think it was in uh, California, they actually make uh, like twelve dollars shotguns from uh, yeah. from parts from Home Depot, and they would go sell them to the cops for like a hundred dollar gift certificate. Yeah, and the cops were like, <laughs> it's like we're not accepting those anymore because fuck you. <laughs> so what, uh, what 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 a lot of guns will do is they'll, they'll find the nearest gun buyback. You know, if there's one in Austin or one in Dallas or whatever out here. Um, I'll go there, you know, oh, they're offering a hundred dollar gift card. Okay. I'll give you $200 cash for that gun. And it's actually like, you know, worth $500. That's a great fucking deal for me. And the person gets more money and they get cash on a gift card. It sounds good all around. Doesn't it? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh. I love the internet. Yeah. Sometimes with my uncle's guns, I kind of wish I'd instead of giving them all to an auction house, individually try to do them on gun broker, but I don't know if I had the time to do that shit. I actually can't rejoin our channel, and I'm sad. You're, what you're in. What? You're in it right now. Yeah, I know I'm in it, but I can't, oh. like, I don't see it, so I can exit it on my phone and all that. Go, uh, go uh, do it through wait. the Twitter link. Huh, excuse you me. You found that one link me the Twitter link? It's in our uh, internal chat. Yeah, the group chat. On Twitter. Internal chat. <laughs> like we're a company. Yeah. Heard all. <laughs> Sorry. Well, fuck, you, we might as well be a company with the way we are. You, company. company. You got I'm Bill Clinton on the line. Like, I actually really like you guys. <laughs> so I'm not like complain or anything like that. Also, I don't see our um, internal chat. Will you go Weird. to Twitter? You don't see it? No, I don't. I see chats from Owie Goes, um, my friend that's a Nazi. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you have to tell drop. the story now. You have to tell the story now. Oh, God. Um, my friend Jonathan, I found out recently he's a Nazi. But First he's name. Been, he's been um, nice to me. Well, Hatchet slash Jonathan has been nice to me since I got into a car wreck. So I've just been, like, you know, okay with him, if that makes sense. He doesn't listen to this cast. He doesn't know about this cast. Oh, Darren uh, bumped the uh, chat, so maybe you'll see it now. Now, when you say he's a Nazi, is he actually a Nazi or is he some kind of of an identitarian? No, he has straight up it being a Nazi. So there are people here who seem to... There are some people nowadays who consider Nazi to be a symbol of rebellion against the left because the left calls everyone even vaguely right-leaning in every... In any context, to be a Nazi. Look, there I don't. The people, look, I don't, I don't know if your friend can call him the Nazi because of that, or does he have a swastika? No, 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 no. He doesn't have a swastika, but he is someone who is openly admitted to being a fascist. And uh, yeah, like he says he's a fascist, and he says he's a Nazi, and I'm just like, okay, well, if, I. Okay, it might be worthwhile to ask for clarification as yeah. to what he I, he thinks that means. I have and it's just a link to a Hitler meme at that point. Okay, so Edgelord Nazi is not kill the Jews. That's I love triggering the liberals. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking with people all the fucking time, like me. Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but if if you want to do that, like that's your own prerogative. But at the same time, be surprised when I'm just like you know, you're a piece of shit, like Varg, and then, you know, turn around and walk, and walk away. That sounds like a song. Turn around. Walk away. What is, what I'll is see what you is another is. day. Fuck, I can't what? join this fucking hangout. Oh my god, why can't I join this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm actually annoyed. I can't Have join Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Oh, that was me. <laughs> nice. Ah, British accent. <laughs> I can do a couple. Just a couple. That that me that what I have to do here. Um, Why? You're not. That's how he joins the chat. Anyway, <laughs> next item. Next item on the list. Ah, All right. With the link. San Francisco officials are fighting free food at work. <clears throat> what? I yeah, love I got, free food when I'm working. I got this from Adam Morgan. It's normal Adam spelling Adam Morgan on YouTube, and I think it's Adam as in the uh, atomic particle. Uh, but they said, well, the ah, 
Adam as an Adam Bomb on a uh, Twitter. But yeah, he was talking about this, and apparently there was like a local a food organization, I don't know, Western Tears or well, something that want uh, an ordinance put in place to where they can't have free food at the places because the idea is they, to get employees to go out and make uh, and, and hope local businesses by spending money there. The downside to it is some of these people, even though they make good salaries in theory, they're living in the Bay Area, and that gets hugely fucking expensive. So free food helps them out a lot. It also helps out the company because it helps <sighs> the people are at the stay at campus, and so they miss less work going to, out and back in. So it's more efficient for them, not to mention there's a lot of employees at the campus preparing that food who lose their jobs. So I, I mean, but too, that is potentially really easy to get around Increase any everybody's salary. It's still great because I don't have to, you know, worry about fucking traffic, about finding parking, about fighting traffic back, mm -hmm. and paying ten dollars for a meal, which is worth, you know, a quarter of that or you know, four tenths of that. Versus, I can go to the cafeteria downstairs when I'm ready, you know, of course, while they're open, and get a meal and either take it back to my desk or eat it somewhere down there and pay, you know, a lot less. And, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, not, that was that was always the convenience of uh, working in a federal building was. Yeah. That's all I had to do was just hit the elevator to the basement and right into the cafeteria I go. Yeah. Sure, the lines were long as fuck, but you know. Not just break that, break. like, you got to consider that those uh, break room cafeterias probably cost like $2 to $5 at most. Yeah. yeah. And, like, they don't really care about the cost outside of the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. okay. And these are places that want to serve you personally and yeah like i think we should be encouraging that more than like you know discouraging it by you know charging a fuck ton by insurance and whatnot and everything else it just it just doesn't make sense to me i feel dirty posting anything from buzzfeed but uh, that's what I linked to in the uh, show notes. And mm -hmm. one of the interesting lines in this uh, paragraph is, the Golden Gate Restaurant Association is backing the legislation. Brennan Forden, the group executive director, said the regulation isn't meant to target paid cafeterias like those in hospitals where everyone can buy food. Rather, it's said to specifically aim at free and subsidized cafeterias. Quite frankly, if I had to live in the Bay Area, area I'd take every perk I can get because that place is expensive. You got yeah. damn right. <laughs> That's outrageous. Like Look, if someone told me that I had a free or subsidized cafeteria, I would take it. Yeah. Like, and, in a fucking heartbeat. And you, well, and if you think I wouldn't be up in the go plate... <laughs> yeah, it, it's like, I got news. I'd be, like, sitting there, like, putting a like, shrimp into my purse. Oh, ugh. Yeah. Oh, like, come on. That smells a bit fishy, Evie. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys, but you guys know it though. It. Like, I, I, it's one of those things, like where it's like, okay, so they don't charge for food, so I'm going to like scrape uh, whatever it is into my. That's when you just take the entire dish, like it's uh, you just take the entire buffet dish, walk away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Yes. <laughs> my any anytime there's shrimp uh my brother will just basically just grab the entire plate and leave whatever's <laughs> like like he he basically takes all of what's on the shrimp plate and leaves nice just take the plate man How can you blame rest. him i i can't i can't it's it's good stuff he really enjoys it so i it's like i it's, but but for for this if this gets instated how many people do you think are just going to run to the nearest mcdonald's because that's the cheapest thing right there i know it's like help local businesses no they're gonna go to like a taco bell yeah spend three bucks like two burritos or something like that and then walk away that's yeah. it I mean, because to yeah, Taco Bell, yeah, spend three bucks, get like two burritos or something like that, and then walk away. That's yeah. it. I mean, because to that's a local business. If McDonald's local. Over to machine based waiters or, you know, people yeah. take the order. It's yeah, machine based. Gonna... So it's yeah. and still those, human and servers. Yeah, yeah. I, had those in, I had those in uh, I mean, Europe. Cooks, I mean. uh, yeah, you'll still need cooks. So yeah. in Europe, the McDonald's were set up in a way to where. You had these kiosks where you would put in the order, and they were real nice touchpads. And I almost 
I, I wanted to see if I could do a trick that someone told me where you hit the corner about seven, like five to seven times, and then you get oh, the times, and then you get. Oh, the if it's running, OS. if it's an application running on top of Windows, if it's an application running on top of it, I didn't try that because it was Sissy. always very, it was always very, dude. There were like thirty <laughs> people in the room. <laughs> if it's poorly configured, like a full screen application on top of the kiosk, and yeah. It's like that, and you yeah. try to touch a corner, you might bring up the start screen, and um, fun bring up MS Paint and drawing dick butt. <laughs> 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 the, the format of the freaking show notes. Shit, what the hell? Yeah, I, I something. Oh no, I uh, something happened. Printed, um, something, printed, um, something happened. I'm fix. I'll, I will fix it. Oh, I got it. it. I got it, man. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just gonna fuck it up. So I think. I, I, yeah, I, I I fucked it up. <laughs> it's my bad. <laughs> I was like, I don't have time to fix it. Well, so I feel bad for the San Francisco workers who are, uh, yeah, I understand they want to help get more money to the local businesses. But at the same time, these people are in bad shape and those other job people who are losing jobs by not having the local cafeterias. And it's good business because the people spend less time out and away from work. They can go get yeah. the food and go back to their desk and do their work, which granted sounds a little bit, you know, drudgery, but I mean... It's it's efficient, so, and uh, if you can, if you can have good food there too, and it's paid for, and you got people working there, I don't see. Yeah. Any, I'm with you. I don't see any reason or downside to having them there. Yeah, I can I, see a downside. Mm. Simple. I might get more fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of the places, some of the places that work, some of the kitchens they have, yeah, you can get fat there. They have some good food, but. You know, yeah, I, even on average, I used to work for an HVAC manufacturer, and they had a cafeteria on site. And, I mean, yeah, I paid five bucks for a, for a sandwich, chips, and drink. It wasn't great, but drink. It wasn't great, but it was a lot better than, you know, going out and paying, you know, Subway. Yeah. And you're, you're also saying, and your employees are saving money on gas to drive out, grab food, drive back, mm -hmm. and then get back to work. And then they've already left work. They may as well just go home. <laughs> <laughs> not not just that, Darren. Like, um, if I pay five dollars to, you know, uh, get food, um, assuming it's something like tacos all carbone, um, they're going to give me like actual legit tacos that are like authentic tacos and not like you know bullshit Taco Bell bullshit. If you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, I've worked at places where that might be the case, but even still, if they're doing that, paying for that, you're, you're paying for that quality. You're not gonna pay, you know, ten bucks for Taco Bell. You're gonna pay, you know, ten bucks for Taco Bell. You're gonna pay about Taco Bell prices for Taco Bell. I may be a little biased yeah, because um, I pay the best about steak place for Taco Bell prices for that, but at the same time, like they are better than. Taco Bell and everything else I've ever tasted. Yeah. I may be a little biased here because the best take place I've ever been to, my favorite by far, had to close down after a nearby business uh, started having the uh, uh, indoor, uh, in business cafeteria. I, and I missed those steaks. They were so good. Well, I mean that 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 sucks. That's the re that's the reality of the market. I mean, I know, I know. I, I, I mean, I mean, case, case in point, case in point, uh, the fucking people from Postmates who my fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get it. I, I, I'm not advocating to uh, artificially prop up businesses with uh, regulation like that. I'm just mourning the loss of a great steak place. Mm. Rip. What is this? Oh, Discord. If I may make a suggestion, like, we should I have can, I can make a great steak personally, but it's not because, you know, any sort of, uh, it's not sort of any sort of, um, I can't think of the word right now. Fuck. Um, Evie, I might hold you to that, and the stakes are high. But um, <laughs> God damn it, Ellie. Um, <laughs> no, no, I actually can because you heat the uh, pan on the uh, stove, 
like you preheat the pan in the oven and then you take it out and then you put it on the stove and then you do the thing and cook it for about a minute or two and then um cook it in the oven that's like reverse sear well yeah yeah that's what you do to make a good steak yeah am i wrong that's one way to do it. You can you can make a good steak without doing that too. It's all in your cooking technique. Well, that's my cooking technique, and that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. So. Um. All right. If you really want to give me shit about it, go ahead and do that. But overall, I'm just going to keep on doing that, and uh. If you ever come down here, I will convert you to a uh, pan-fried steak and then put it in the oven. Okay, I, I, I've cooked steak like at least half a dozen different ways, so <laughs> big deal. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. I don't know my roommate makes a good one. He grills them up with charcoal, which is really good, which is usually better than the ones I make that are just in the oven. Yep. Oh, nice. Does he uh, does he direct cook them or indirect? Uh, he, I direct or indirect. I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, direct oh. would be you just put it right above the coals. Oh. Indirect is you push all the coals to like the side of the grill and then you put it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Ask for the question. Hmm? Do you do direct or indirect grilling? Um. Well, I mean, so the thing is, you get like a like a crusty sear on the outside, but you don't want to burn it, so you like you know. Do direct, but then you move it off. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I do with uh, propane. I get, I have high heat on one side, and the other side is more or less cold. So I throw them over, so they slow cook after about five ten minutes on each and side. Like nice. I'm gonna have to try that. Depends on how you like your steak cooked, too. Though. Yeah. I think if you want it rare, that would. Mm -hmm. A minute to each side and throw it over, but you're not gonna get or to each side and throw it over, but you're not gonna get really crusty though. It's really hard to do yeah. that. I like my steak maybe a little crusty on the outside, but I like it red on the inside, kind of like Comrade Evie. Ah, um, <laughs> um need, like, you know, as it goes, anything uh, more than medium is disrespecting the, the cow. Yeah, Adrian, just so you know, um, with uh, with me and uh, steak. I want it like scared if if you know what I know if you know what I mean. Still moving. So uh, what's you want next to on the uh, on the cooking podcast? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I Bam. am. I I want it like really scared. So like I want you to just show it the fire and then bring me the steak. Can we can we talk about how to make the Trevor milkshake special? Oh, <laughs> oh God. yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Forever, okay. Forever. All right. All right. Before we get oh, into the no. Trevor talk. Oh, oh, fucking no. I, right. I already let's, know where this is going. <laughs> let, let's finish up the show notes real first before we go on to Trevor. Because even though Derby Con's coming up. Um, Adrian, I think this one's yours. And I am going to share my screen. Or do you want to share your screen to for these uh, for the infamous Jackie Stokes that we've been following for the last uh, few weeks? I guess weeks? I'd probably be more efficient if I share my screen. All right. Oh no, Jackie has gone off the deep end. I don't know what to do about her. Uh, she's off the deep end in a while. She started to fight with those. Uh, what is it? The Barstool Sports people over a bit of satire at the end of the article. Uh, they she started shit with me because I didn't think a shit was so bad, and eventually ended up blocking me while defending people like Panther Modern, who, as best as I can tell, is a <laughs> no job. Um. Uh, but yeah, she's went into it recently with a, a Keel. I don't know how to pronounce. I, I can never spell Kyle's name. I basically have archived all the links. Kyle. So Kyle, uh, you have also known Pilgrim. Or you can just call him Pilgrim. Pilgrim is easy. I just call him Pilgrim. He's a nice enough uh, fella. Uh, a little buddy told me that uh, Shiel uh, ha has been arrested. Crap! I can't easily share this because she has me blocked. Um, uh, here, let me. She doesn't have me blocked, so I will share my screen real quick. Yeah, she, she has doesn't me have me blocked. Click, by the way. Click, uh. Uh. Adrian, uh, click on my icon in Google, and it will uh, hold uh, my screen in the cast. All right. In the Hangouts, if you click on my icon in the Hangouts. So, yeah, scroll off through some of this. Yeah. 
So she's making all these accusations, but she, there's not a whole lot of uh, founding on it. Apparently, she did some work for Krypton Security back in the day, but um, which is Pilgrim's of, company. Vague accusations, and she's been making accusations against all sorts of people uh, recently. Like I said, I had it in with her because I didn't think a shit was so bad, and she got all pissed off because I didn't instantly bow to her and say, "Yes, the shirt is terrible." I remember telling some of about her. I treat her more equally than from Modern does. She says, "If you treat me equally, you would agree with me." Essentially, I don't remember exactly how she said it, but basically, her idea of equal treatment is to agree with her. Um, oh God, I'm just seeing. I've seen April Wright. April Wright seems pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen oh, yes. her. I've seen her in other stuff, April but uh, I'm just reading the fight there. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Can you, you want to read some of this? Uh, so, I. I do not personally know Pilgrim, but I've heard about him enough from uh, people that I know. And uh, from what I've heard of him, he doesn't sound like this. That It seems like a cool dude. Um, so April C. Wright in this uh, replied, anyone who actually knows him would never believe this. Accusations on Twitter have no way of being defended. There's no trial, no exoneration. Rumors can ruin people. Your quote friend, quote, could dislike Kay or his family. Find some actual proof before you try to destroy one of us. Uh, here is, act and then she, Jackie Stokes replies, here is actual proof you requested. Just like victims of hashtag me too. I don't know what that icon is, and I really don't want to know. I will not be accused of destroying a man's reputation for discussing. I, I feel like I should be so yelling this. Where, where's the fucking proof? So I'm actually going to open that up real quick. Let's see what this is. Jackie's. I don't so. know, but like y'all, like in general, like if y'all want to post like a me to link in general, um, like. Uh, y'all are okay. Thanks. Thank you. No, I'm I, I'm serious. Like, you haven't really done anything that requires like a Me Too link, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not sure why she's connecting this to Me Too because this is about um, <sighs> what, espionage and bank stuff. That, and I don't sure why she's even bringing it up. It, it, she's she's doing um. Uh... Oh, there's a fallacy for this. I believe it's straw man. I think it's the straw man fallacy. It's where you... She's combining multiple items into one. Yeah, there's a lot of things going wrong here. Because she also started a list of who she considers to be sexual... Um, uh, I don't know. What guys who want to... So yeah, guys who want to rape women or whatnot have her way. Well, actually, few of them are actually ones that have... Sexual conduct with inappropriate sexual conduct supposedly with other men as well. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not seeing but that. List I haven't sure. like mm -hmm. linked that with you, Adrian. Oh, no, that's not one. Like the problem she had with me was there was a shirt that someone was wearing at a conference someplace, and she thought it was completely inappropriate. I just thought, yeah, maybe it's a little tacky, but yeah. Look, oh, I have God. I have a shirt that says uh, "True Black Metal Weeaboo Trash." So and I actually had to wear that to every fucking conference and every and everywhere else. But um, if someone actually said like you don't have an opinion because you're wearing a shirt that says "True Black Metal Weeaboo Trash," I'd be like, "LOL, what?" What the? What is going on in this thread? Everyone I follow is commenting on this. This is amazing. <laughs> yes, it pissed everybody off. Oh my god. Okay, so after April got into this, Jason shows up. And Jason E. Street shows up. That's not proof. That's a news report from July 9th reporting on something that happened. Not a news report on a trial verdict. Oh my God! There's no problem with it. Oh my gosh! This, this, this is what I I call the 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 Twitter argument circle. It's just uh, nothing's gonna get done through this. It's just gonna be people getting riled up, mad, and people are just gonna and and Pilgrim's just gonna end up being hurt. But it's cool to see that a lot of us uh, have his back. Well, so, now on to the Zach Whitaker one and bring that up because right. that's where we actually get to oh look 
He's, he's fine. Not in jail or prison <laughs> or arrested. <laughs> and then we go. Oh wait, uh, go, go down on that just a little bit. Yep. Yep. Given there were claims out there and misinformation spreading, I wanted to share a quick context. Oh, wait, yours thing. Glad to hear some people are just off their meds again. Thanks. Trivialize. <laughs> Get. Oh and she, she immediately blocked me for that. <laughs> no, accusing someone of a crime based on secondhand info and then saying, well, I'm wrong. Oh, well, Shrug is in poor taste. <laughs> Okay, get, go on I, down just a little bit more to my I'm final not response. I'm about to uh, block Jackie, but um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Well, are you are you on the find evil or are you on the tea profit thing? Uh, find evil. Find I'm evil. not about to find. I'm not about to block find evil only because like uh, she's good for jobs and stuff. But <laughs> overall, it's just like. What are you doing? So Israel commented back, um, a defamation campaign with no evidence is pointless. Better to remain silent and be thought of a fool than open your mouth and remove all doubt. Well said, you know, sir. Well said. Why, thank you. you. Know, no, no, I, I, I don't doubt anything you guys have said, by the way. Oh, my Just God. Just so you know. All right. Okay. Then, yeah, move on to Dave. Yeah, throw it over to Dave's. And I and these are where Dave and Whitaker both like either FaceTime or Signal videoed with him live. You know, Whitaker showed timestamp on there. I mean, completely just X'd out all the crap that she spewed all over the internet. Get served. <laughs> Look, um, I'm not about to say she's not a uh, surf or a turf or anything like that. It's just sounds pretty good. Yeah, she's uh, she's a surf and turf. Um, <laughs> I'm I am not about to deny that. It's just like surf and turf used to be great at Sizzlers. <laughs> oh God, damn it, Adrian! <laughs> Hang on, Adrian. Do you know what a surf and a turf are? Yes, I do. Dude, how much do I talk about uh, the nature of modern-day feminism? Surfs are, I mean, that's, that's all. Surfs are the worst part I of I for male feminist feminism. once, and I was bringing up uh, Camille uh, – I can't pronounce Camille's last name. Camille and uh, Christina Hoff Summers, and the dude was like, he had no idea who the fuck <laughs> I was talking about him. I was bringing up some shit from about patriarchy theory and shit. Guy had no idea what I was talking about. He only ever looked at the dictionary definition. But, yes, I am familiar with Swifts and Turfs. Okay, like, good. look, um, trans exclusionary rad feminists and sex work exclusionist <laughs> ram feminine rad feminists are absolutely the worst in general. I'm just going to say that now. All right. But um, they aren't very yeah. rad. Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah, they're not very red, and they don't exactly, um, they don't represent what actual red feminism is. Well, they, 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 there's a branch. I can't call them not red feminists. They just have different views than other ones. Though intersectionalism, intersectional feminists has definitely become the more popular one that you see on social media and in articles on various um, pop sites. Look, um, Tumblr and uh, whatever else the fuck are not actual sites that people frequent. If yeah, you know but when I see real peer review posting articles about modern feminism, it's still the intersectionality version, pretty much. Yeah, it doesn't sound most intersectionals are not turfs or swerfs from Correct. what I've seen. Correct. They're just brain so, I, so you're saying, not exactly you need, you're not exactly disagreeing. I've been using bigger words. Uh, a lot of stuff I see in the academic stuff that uh, like uh, real peer review posts still sounds a lot like Tumblr just with bigger words. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Dave's tweet. Um, he says, yes. uh, "I try to stay out of things on Twitter uh, when there's an issue and speak to folks directly to work out problems. Attacking someone's character is wrong when the full facts." are not understood. Um, I spoke with my friend uh, Sanawi 
I think that's how you just say, say Pilgrim. Pilgrim. <laughs> and he's doing great. He will clear up everything publicly soon. We should reach out to him. <laughs> have him do it here. <laughs> okay, fun. so I have something to say about Jack. I mean, like, I think she may have the best intentions, but I think she's off her meds, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> we'll that in a bit. But go ahead and continue down this thread, because doesn't Jackie comment on this at some point in time? Uh, I will find it. No, 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 no. I love no. She she got my cappy on the way. Maybe yeah, she has a she commented on. I don't know. Maybe it was the other one she commented on. Yeah, it was the other one that she commented on. There's nothing here. Yeah. I'm seeing all nine comments. I'm actually worried about Jackie at this point. Well, apparently, and I'm trying to find it. She posted a picture <laughs> that she was now in a hospital. Yes. And... Let me, hold on a second. That's me. I got that. Uh, she has this thing. I'm going to be offline for a bit. Uh, please DM me only if important. Then a few hours later, the American hacker scene is just sad. Uh, a sad shell of what it once was. We used to stand up. Oh, by the way, that's a picture of her in a hospital bed. It's cut off. Wait. Get that there. Uh, we used to stand up each other. Uh, we listened to the mentor uh, when the he told us uh, pretty or oh, petty vision like race and gender, age didn't matter. Um, now he, we allow abuse online at conferences. Even though, well, what's your idea of abuse? Because I'd say she was being an abuser at this point. Yeah, that that's is exactly what she was that, doing. That's exactly the thing. And then, oh, speaking of um, being a little bitch, fuck it. He talked behind my back all the time. I'll talk behind his back. He's, he once told me that I was, he said, Seriously, Aiden, I've known you for a long time. Please understand that you're just actively hooking the community now or some of that degree because I posted an article. I posted a video by Seth, uh, Joe Rogan about um, Sargon of Cod. I said, thank you very much, uh, Joe, for ha talking with this um, a victim of a known uh, scam artist, something to that degree, because Anita Sarkeesian is a scam artist. Even if you believe her and her on her side, she still promised a certain number of videos she never delivered and pocketed the money. And her analysis is the worst kind of crap. But here's what Devin Oldham talking behind my back says. There have been a number of gems. This is perhaps the most eye-well-inducing uh, among them, however. Narrator. But of course, everybody knew that he was not actually trying his best. Jackie had said something about, by the way, the reason I found out about this post at all is when Jackie blocked me, she linked me to this, as if Devin is some kind of great authority on moral behavior. <laughs> Leaders in the InfoSec community need to start stepping up to the plate in a big way. Call out bad behavior. Use your voice as a steward of our culture let us uh, not allow these problems to continue festering. And I said, I'm trying my best. Because you know what? My idea of bad behavior and good behavior is different than these two. Instead, of, stop, instead of stop whining about every little <laughs> marginalization, if you do the fucking work, believe in meritocracy. Hell, I've seen Devin call someone a shit, what was it, a shithead? Because the guy said that, uh, you know, you take if you look for meritocracy, then diversity takes care of itself. I'm like, yeah, you, you two? Your ideas of what would make the community better aren't the same as me. So you're just, how do you put this? Uh, you're, you're, you're fucking up the program, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, what, what Brian needs to do hey. is he's divorce that, that, uh, that vulture face Tara and get his balls back. That's what he needs to do. Fuck! <laughs> I was I'm, going not, I'm, to, not, I'm not uh, stepping there. Fuck I was <laughs> uh, going to say, Adrian, like, um, if you want to quote me on that, like, go for it. But, um, like, I kind of agree with them. And, like, I am probably one of the toxic feminists that is, quote unquote, you know, against you. No, you're not. <laughs> because, like, I actually stand up and I'm like, okay, well, what about this? Whenever you bring something up. Yeah, and and here's the difference with that, Evie. You at least do it to his face, which makes you a infinitely better person for it. And you politely object. You don't fuck you. You're wrong and shut the dialogue down. Yeah. You yeah. you bring an objection you bring up and you bring, you bring it civilly. Narrator, but of course everybody knew he wasn't really tr was not trying his best. Plus, no, no, no. I, I think is best for the community. I don't care what you think for community because I've seen your analysis of shit and idiotic. No, and my my analysis of shit. That's yours. I'm talking about Dan. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. saying like my analysis of shit isn't idiotic, and you know that. 
And two, um, <coughs> like, it's a very valid analysis of stuff. And two, like, I'm not about to shut you down, Adrian. That's not my end goal. I want to have, like, a polite conversation with you. And that's what I actually want to have. And Except most of the rad feminists don't want that. They want to shut him down because they don't want a dissenting voice. No, it's not that I don't want a dissenting voice. It's yeah, that no, no, no. Like, I'm talking about we're not, not talking about Evie. They're not talking others. about others. Yeah, you, not you. Others don't want that dissenting voice. You're okay with it because you actually have the ability to, you know, persuade and be, you know, logical rather than fuck you. I'm right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream over you. Yeah. But, like, I don't think Adrian is, that is like, that toxic and that radioactive that people need to completely ignore him, if you know what I mean. Like, people that do that, I think, are really fucking stupid. Unfortunately, people are really fucking stupid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, back to the original topic of the thing in hand. I don't know if Jackie, because she's been in the hospital recently, I don't know if some of her posts, when, when you made a comment about off the meds, I don't know if she's off or maybe other meds. I mean, I don't know what, 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 what procedure she's going through right now, but she might be a little bit um, loopy because of something that's going on in the hospital. I don't know. That's, I'm yeah, giving her yeah. the benefit of the doubt and assuming that. Um, I think, generally speaking, she's probably not you know a total app i'm let me think out for this i'm thinking something is going on that's fucking with her head from the personal accounts that i read this week at least people who claim their personal and she even once told me that you know mcgrew was well she didn't say acting like a jackass but she said something like can't believe this keeps going on and on and on you know, she used to seem uh, to, to to see some of the bullshit I see also, but yeah. over the last like six months or so, she she seems dim to me. But then again, I never knew her personally in the same way. Oh, by the way, there's also that article Weave posted. Apparently, she was friends with Weave, which I still don't totally get how we Weave seems to have a lot of black and Jewish friends for someone who's um a, a Nazi. A, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm, I, I'm sorry. If you have a uh, swastika tattoo, you are in fact a Nazi. I don't know how to break this to you, but you're very are. dedicated to lopping. I don't know. I've mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, like I, like I said, I, I saw I somewhat new I somewhat new weave like back in the ED days. Not erectile dysfunction, but in slightly dramatic. <laughs> oh, we knew exactly what you were talking about. <laughs> I'll link that one in the show notes too. Back, <laughs> back before Viagra was a thing. <laughs> no, no. Go well, up, say salute. Also on this. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I mean, I, I knew, I knew him and 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 that group that he used to run with. Uh, run with that. No, it wasn't GNAA. It was uh, uh, Russell League. No. Actually, this goes. I don't know cocaine. <laughs> no, no, but there was a there was a group of there was a group of ED admins, and they used to roll around, and that was sort of the group that I was loosely affiliated with, and that's how I knew Weave. Oh. I knew him. I knew him like well before the prison before the prison shit came up. Well, it wasn't the SKAA that me and Liz are in. No. I love you, Liz. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, good times. Any more comments on this before we move on to the final subject of today's podcast? I right. probably shouldn't. No. All right. That, that, that was a good one. Spent like, I think, a half hour on that. Uh, I'll, I'll time it later. 20 anyway. minutes. 20 minutes. I think I started at 8. Yeah. Well, yeah, if eight, we come eight back, we, we will, you know, Last item. do it without, you know, the podcast involved. Yeah, we probably will discuss it. We can discuss it more off air. I feel like that might be the best option for yeah. us here. Um, so, last so, 
Yep. <laughs> Ricky, what? what's up, man? Ricky. Ricky. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. That's the last thing. I miss you all. <laughs> we miss you too. We miss you too. Hey, babe, I what's up? You. I miss you, Ricky. <laughs> so, all right. last item on the list the, the T profit thing. Yep, that's yours. Go for it. Or yep. wait, whoever it was that sent it. <laughs> oh, I, I brought it up and someone else added it to the list. Yep. So for those listening, still listening at this hour who don't know, T Profit is one of the co-founders of Queer QueerCon, a sub-party, a party that goes on at DEF CON every year and has since expanded to about uh, 20 um, kind of branches all across the states. Uh, I'm not quite certain what form that takes, but that's my understanding. Um, so the reason I brought it up is recently T Profit posted a medium post, uh, a bit of a blog post saying that he was being blackmailed essentially, saying that he is supposed to either unconditionally agree uh, with unnamed people who are blackmailing him and sporting uh, a list of um, sexual a list of predators within the infosec community, a list that is uh, ostensibly going to be publicized this coming Defcon. Uh, T Profit is normally a DJ. He said that he's normally seen so much crap go on in these kind of events that he's inclined normally to absolutely believe it when a woman says she's been assaulted. He says he'd probably go further. Hmm. Sorry, However, guys. I just got disconnected. Everything we back? Yep, we're good. Yep, I'm, yep, I'm okay. the T Profit thing. Uh, so, the T Profit thing. No, however, I isn't that interrelated with what Weave was posting? Because Weave mentioned that same kind of, a list. And I thought that was the same list. Uh, he, he had linked to that blog post, and I separately looked at that blog post. I didn't want to mention Weave and uh, citing as, depending on who's uh, listening, that may delegitimize the topic, because T-Profit okay. is not associated with Weave, to my understanding. Correct, but I thought... Oh, never mind. Uh, no worries. Um, yeah. So... I mean, I'll associate so, with Weave, but um, I'm associated with this list, TM. So this list um, it's just, uh, it's just, is uh, rumored to be uh, released in DEF CON uh, next week, is uh, ostensibly aimed at getting certain uh, "Quote unquote leadership or icons within the infosec community to be removed, to be turned them into pariahs, destroy their careers, whatever you want to put it." And so T Profit was threatened with saying, "You either support the list, or your name will be on the list." And oh, wow. he was so profoundly uncomfortable with how this has gone about that, he, despite him supporting the notion of you know always you know uh, believing that there's so much crap that goes on, women should be believed and they're uh the persecutors of people who assault or do worse to them should absolutely be banned from con conferences despite him agreeing with this he put his personal safety and professional um safety at risk publicly opposing this list and now he says his name's and be on it um and he tried to get ahead of the list he says that to accuse him of uh uh, trying to have uh, relations with an underage guy, uh, and so T. Prof tried to get ahead of that by oh, stating, fuck him. by stating that it. I don't care at this point. Fuck, fuck him. I, I, he's saying that the accusation uh, that there were other people there that there was an, the other people can verify nothing happened between them. He did not actually have relations, and that the accusation is going to be nothing more than a rumor and if other people can corroborate it then you know that's <gasps> normally pretty decent are you are you okay you're hiccuping okay, extremely okay. loudly every other second uh, trying to have uh relations with an underage guy uh and, uh, sorry, and yeah um i'm hiccuping but um i'm okay <laughs> All right. So anyway, he's saying that they're going to accuse him of that, and he wanted to get ahead of it, saying that there's enough public information out there that he personally would, he has no concern that 
the, the, the accusation would stick for him. But uh, he is saying that it's not so sure that others, you know, um, would even know that there's going to be a list and would have been able to um, be able to respond as soon as possible, be able to refute it as soon as possible. Because um, let me get this right. These kind of lists, you know, there, there may very well be actual horrible pe people in there. There may very well be uh, people who actually raped someone else there. You know, fuck yep. them. The hell with them. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. But the way that this list is going is it's operating primarily on rumors and it's not Here's purely right. and it's not purely aimed at trying to get rid of the bad actors it's trying to get as trying to lump in notable uh people who are have positions of respect within the infosec community and lump them in with bad actors in an attempt to ruin their careers and leave a sort of um vacuum for these people to take their place at least that is what T Profit is uh, uh, saying in his Medium post. Huh? Yeah. Their, their motivation is motivation could have purely. The motivation could have been pure, meaning yeah. hey, there were some real bad fuckers out here. You know, the dude from twenty six hundred looks like he was raping and molesting women at cons, um, but when yeah. threatened that. The list was going to come out. Potentially, it turned bad, um, but it, it sounds an awful lot like that media list from uh, man. It seems like ages ago, right? But it's probably a couple months ago. This guy also has written for twenty six hundred. Look, but the only reason I have only reason the only reason I've tagged Phantom Modern in any of this is that he has made a uh, plausible argument against um a plausible argument against uh 2600 in general he was no no mm -hmm. t profits just written for them a few times he is not an employee for them He's not an employee, but he has at least written a uh, plausible argument for them. Oh, I'm not, I'm not quite. What, what do you mean he's written a plausible argument for them? I don't understand what you're saying. Um, you mean wait. like in defense of them? Yeah, in defense of them. Uh, in defense of them for what? Uh, how they handled hope, or I, I'm I'm a little lost. How they fent? How they lost? How they fent? How they defended hope, and how they defended the uh, 400 article in general. Are, are you okay, Evie? You sound like you're stunned. Yeah, I've your been words a little. I've seeing this a couple days too, and I'm worried about her, frankly. I'm you drinking a, a little bit, comrade? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, okay. <laughs> Evie, are you sure you're okay? Because are you sleeping well? Yes, I am. Um, they have actually written a couple articles that are okay with. Uh, like, look, um, I'm not completely on board with, um, with, uh, with them in general, if you know what I mean. Okay. But overall, it's just sort of like, um, they aren't that bad, TM. Evie, hmm. all right. I'm worried about you, Evie. I mean, are, are, are you, you like? Did they give you something for your back that may like, make you a little drowsy? No, I'm not. Okay. He's been like this for like a day or two, dude. Well, it can, it can continue that off stream. But anyway. Um, no, I'm legitimately worried about you, Evie. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll figure that out. Off, off, uh, Let's off, do that after the cast. After, after I, the cast. I haven't been 
worried about myself for like a couple of days, TM. Okay. Um, so, I, to, I, I, wrap, to wrap up the um, T profit thing, uh, yeah. the thrust of the uh, medium post, which um, should be on the um, uh, should be on the list to pat schedule, is is that um, people should be any should be worried about any kind of list that uh, the accuser ha the the accused has no no reasonable means of being able to refute it, uh, <clears throat> except in very rare cases, and that it's typical that it empowers the accusers um, uh, almost unconditionally to destroy lives. He's, his main issue there was, was the process, and that he compared it to different lists that he's on, such as uh, the uh, list he gets where he gets extra special attention when he flies in. Uh, that's the wow. on the TSA's lists. What's that's sort of the the whole mo, isn't it? As of late, what, Sardu movement. Yeah. <clears throat> and he, you call somebody a a rapist, molester, uh, mattress girl. You know, no proof yeah. against the guy whatsoever. In fact, proof against her claim. The nation didn't care. Mattress girl was crazy. Oh, I, Absolutely crazy, and if you've seen what she's done after, since she's graduated from college, <laughs> cre uh, created uh, a whole porn video, bondage videos as art. She, she, you know, those you who remember, I, know, uh, I called a uh, mattress girl out on that. Um, she released a sex guess, video. What it would look like if I was yeah. raped? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like yeah, I called it's, it's a mattress almost porn girl. Wish. I called a mattress girl out on if she was, you know, violated. And even then, like, she couldn't target me, if that makes sense. Her political usefulness pretty much largely expired there. I mean, she was invited to a state of the union with, I think, with Biden invited or someone else. No, well, yeah. After that, she her, she, she kind of declined pretty quick. But uh, yep. on the tea profit thing, uh, so if this list does go public, you can probably expect quite a bit of uh, noise and drama and fear next week. Um, We're definitely covering it. Has hasn't I'm, this I'm, been threatened for a couple of weeks now that this was coming out? I think so. Yeah, quite. Uh, yeah. I would not doubt it. <laughs> Just be wary about it. Uh, I mean, there might be actual rapists on there. There might be people with less than stellar evidence against them. I don't know. Uh, some, at least gonna uh, one name I've heard. On there for oh yeah, at least one of the names I've heard is going to be in the list. Uh, I, I can believe I actually did rape someone, and I hope he burns. So yeah. I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I have something that happened to me or well, that I was a part of that was not a list, but it was kind of similar to this. Uh a buddy and and the guy actually did do this stuff. Um uh, and I eventually in a roundabout way was the guy who ratted on him and then he got expelled from university uh for that really? um and like i'm sitting so sitting with my my buddy he starts freaking out from this text message saying that one of his uh uh peers was being accused of uh raping uh this girl i start doing my uh i just start doing my selective searches and find that there's a lot more of this it, it, it's at only that point was i going to do anything if anything about it when i found multiple of this happening so like i actually had evidence for it when you don't when you have a thing like this you don't have and, and no, uh, does, have they said that there's any supporting evidence with this that they're publishing with the list? Is there any like? Don't know. 
any sort of account from people from the victims themselves or is this just like named a name drop don't know it, it sounds like the only reason i am doing something is because there is a name drop yeah it sounds like bare minimum we can all expect name drops anything beyond that it sounds like there will be specific accusations tied to them uh, but I don't know how much well, more specificity anonymous. beyond that. Yeah. You're going to have a, a, anonymous, anonymous uh, reports of these things. Typically, my, the victims will not put their names out there, usually. And so my focus from all this, this will be this is, who in a position of leadership is uh, going to be accused or any kind of position to note, and who is going to try to take their place. If what T. Prophet says is true, if he really... if you know, this is an attempt by some people who mainly just want to gain power and influence within the infosec community by uh, getting, ri uh, getting rid of or just destroying the lives of uh, le the existing leadership, then I think then pay, pay it is worthwhile to at least pay attention to who is going to try to take the place of whoever's going to be uh, that being said, losing their jobs. Like, um... I don't think a lot of people are going to admit that, if you know what I mean, in regards since when will since when would that even be relevant, people admitting anything? Yep. Fair point. Never ha never has, never will. Just like that, <laughs> the only reason my T profit might survive because he's getting ahead of this. What what's right. also interesting is if um, he T Profit might not be the only one that's getting thrown on this list because he doesn't agree with this list. So we yeah, might this, have more people like that as well. Yeah, the threat of support the list or you're on the list, I that makes me profoundly uncomfortable. Now, is this um, for leadership of DEF CON itself or are you saying the community in general? It, the community in general. In general yeah. uh, it, it, I don't know more specificity beyond that. I heard. I'd like to know who our leaders are now. I don't, I don't have a it, leader. It could be <laughs> like it could be a leader in the context of maybe leading an organization or a community group, or it could maybe, be gotcha. like an influential uh, Twitter personality. I, I think broadly in terms of leader. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. I will say this, like, uh, Fuxnet in general is a good person to follow. Fuxnet is a very shit troll. He's a piece, he's a piece of crap. He's a, he doesn't even have the guts to leave his tweets up, too. He seems to have an automatic delete up there. It, for someone who used guy? to be in the GNAA, he is a really terrible troll. I mean, oh, yeah, holy crap. Shit about him being all racist and saying all sorts of nasty ass shit, which he claims mm -hmm. no longer leaves. I think he just wants to get a rise out of people. I think he if likes I this had guy's to name. Follow, yeah, but Adrian, if I had to follow someone, um, if I had to follow someone, I would follow Fuxnet. Fuxnet, F U X. Yeah. -E Why? Mostly because they are actually like real, in opposed to um. Everything else I've seen in, uh, you know. Real uh, is a very uh, tenuous uh, thing to state for anyone who used to be affiliated with the GNAA, if you're talking about his personality. God damn it. Um, they he does post some seem, useful information, I will agree. They actually seem real compared to um, actual real information with... Uh, you know, uh, what I would post with uh, GNA. Evie? What? Are you okay? Yeah. Let's leave it. We're not no, it's fine. So, I mean, it's Fuxnet. I mean, no matter regardless of how low I hold his trolling and how, how low a regard I hold his trolling, he does occasionally post some useful information. I mean, I, I'm not going to ever go. I mean, you like following him? That's fine. I don't hate the guy. I think he's a terrible troll. I think he's, he's, had, a, uh, I think he's a bit shitty as well. He retweeted mm. something. You don't need a dick to be a man like seven times. He, Is that a troll attempt? You consider how he'd like to acerbate everything during the whole 
cock argument last summer. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. He his he seems to be one of those uh, political opinion evolves with the wind kind of people. Which mm. okay, uh, many people are like that. I'm not. Uh, uh, so yeah, many people are like that. Way. I'm not going to say it's special like that. It's that's uh, fine. Yeah. That's what it is. It's. Yeah, I think your uh, political opinion yeah. can change based on new facts, but with the wind is. By with the wind, I meant I meant more like opportunist. He sees most of the yeah, pressure you. is coming from a certain circles. Sorry, I get. I may get it slightly wrong. The story I was told was basically there was some dude who got locked up after what was it, Occupy Wall Street or something like that, and he hooked up with this person's ex, and she's a big social justice warrior, so he completely changed his racist ways to be able to impress her. That is the story I've heard. Of Fuxnet? Huh. Yes. I did not know he was more than a keyboard warrior. I mean, I honestly did not really research the guy beyond knowing oh, he was in GNAA, warrior. so I, I, can, I can believe that. His behavior change was because of um, because of a certain woman he was living with. I, that's not <laughs> uncommon for it happen to anyone. I'm, okay. But that was something that came from... Um, uh, well, someone else we both know that are in a different chat of ours in chat right now, but um, we can talk offline about that, but that was one source I, I got. Uh, if, and if you go back and look at some stuff between him and Ill Will, Ill Will posted a shitload of docs about the guy, and it's all kind of creepy. Um, but continue. Anyone with GNAA has like has a, a bit of a history that's not very uh, kosher, so... That it is what it is. It's, and, and I was, I, I'm not trying to uh, downplay your recommendation, Evie. I think you know if you want to follow him for technical information, infosec information, but I'll go all for it. I agree with Evie. He has uh, he has some unique insights that you don't see from any other accounts. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I'm about it, but it's also, you know, a bit creepy, if you know what I mean. Well, his persona is, he, he tries to come off as a, tr I, don't, I don't know, he is a bit of an odd person. Yeah. I'm uh, reading through his Twitter, Twitter history right now, and yeah, for sure, seems like a weird gent. But, yeah, it's it's but, kind of vanilla to me, he's kind of harmless. No, no, I, I mean, you got a, a retweet about the dick thing, uh, a retweet about the uh, advertisement says, are you male or female? And the person says, LMAO, I guess I just won't click on this ad. Um, hey, whatever floats people's boats, you know? Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, just settle on the lexicon because I'm tired of arguing over lexicon. Just make up your mind so we can settle on something and talk about something more productive in the general political discourse sense. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I tend not to follow. I don't know. I don't like. I don't get in the gossipy of the infosec world. It hasn't really done much good for me. Doesn't have much good for anyone. But I mean, you might find a gem in the pile out. of shit. That's like Twitter exactly. in general. It's uh, it's it's like the list the media put out the the bad guys in media. Somebody uh, wrote up this list about potential molesters or guys who go too far, and uh, she she made a uh, a Google spreadsheet right that was on um on, on Google Drive or something like that, and she didn't expect the list was going to go public, and it did. And uh, there was a lot of false accusations on there. Some of them were true. But your name ends up on a list of... The list is a couple of publicity. Line, well, a, a couple years down the line, a, uh, an employer is looking you up, and they see that you were part of this list of potential molesters or predators. And I think the same goes for whatever list they expect to put out. Um, you can escape the firestorm, you know, after things calm down a little bit, but. <clears throat> it's one of those things the where uh, you, you, if you're on that list, you have very, very little time to get any information that 
might make it into the public record uh, uh, that has any semblance of visibility as the initial list. Yeah, there's a bunch of people wanting to make, make lists. Not only this list, but Bottom's got a list that he wants to create. And that's a bunch of people who are ill-founded information. And I, I'd like to make a list of people who are making lists. <laughs> yeah. Will you be on that list? Well, I guess I'd have to do um, it. I would. That's, that's a good point. So, too, though. So, there's that. And then you'll get a list of lists that people make of people of lists. Yeah, then... pretty much. Um... <laughs> All right, maybe... I'm not particularly malicious. It's just that um, I just happened to end up on a... Uh... Evie, are you going to be on next week's list? Are you going to be on next week's list? No, um, I just happened to end up on a... Uh... On a uh, on a commie list, yeah, of people that end up happen to be on um, Panther Modern list, if that makes sense. I'm not familiar with what Panther Modern is. Well, he wants Panther to make a list of Panthers. What he, calls, what he calls Nazis and rape apologists and other things. He wants to put me on that list. Who Foxnet? No, no, no. Because of my oh, Panther Modern is a Twitter account. Oh, oh okay. He, he thinks you are Adrian. Come on, we all know it. He thinks he's racist because of my pin tweet. My pin. I don't think equally applied to people who riot, and destroy stuff in America, now, and it can also be applied to the Nazis from World from uh, World War Two. My my pin tweet is pretty broad, but he doesn't like the idea of. Well, I think he's got a lot of. Um, <sighs> Self-hatred, he's got a lot of white liberal guilt, and anybody who's not like him, he automatically assumes, must be marginalized. He's got a form of, he has the racism of low expectations. He has the, the uh, oh, the soft racism of low expectations, that we was phrased. <sighs> soft to get true. Yeah. I can't hear both of you, boy. <laughs> I think I think it's soft bigotry of low expectation, soft but you got it mainly right. 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 Well, I mean, I, I know that nobody's. I, I know that really, they just need to be careful about making lists because, uh, yep. because as someone who's been accused of um, doing some really heinous shit that I didn't do, it fucking sucks. Oh yep. yeah, especially That's in the internet age. Kind of what uh, I was talking about. It's going to be decades before HR departments get to the point of realizing accusations are cheap. Evidence is everything. So uh, accusations until then are going to be ev are going to be almost everything. Now this yeah. Panther, uh, oh, sorry, Tosh, yeah. come on. Uh, this uh, P profit thing is this list supposed to come out at at DefCon or what's the deal with that? DefCon, yeah. What's the deal with that? DefCon, yeah. Right, that well, is what he uh, says in his uh, post. But is there much else to say about this particular thing until the list comes out? Uh, no, other than. Expect it. All right. uh, we can kind of guess who's on the list. That's what we should do. Play a game like a death pool. Where we think uh, we all well, chip in and we bet who's going to be on the list. Believe uh, Jackie <laughs> bought this list. And the person who wins. If we was to be with Jackie to bought this list, and Jackie already posted some of them. You know. Oh, seriously. If, if Weave's on the list, I'm not sure, sure what not that, that would really do. Posted about the list. Oh yeah, he, he yes he did. And I got that link in the previous news item. Yeah, we, we've made a, a post about hope and uh, in, a, in an attempt to delegitimize uh, the, oh my God, they allowed the Nazi troll their crowd, which be, beyond them delegitimizing themselves with their exact uh, Nazi exaggerations, uh, he, he did cite uh, T-Profit. Uh, Have you guys been uh, blog post. at DEFCON lately? I'm yeah, sure, for the past several I'm years. Sure you might have been there, Adrian. And, um, mm. uh, it looks like an Antifa meetup to me anymore. Wait, what? Um, yeah. What the, what well, I, I don't know if you go to the same place as I go. Apparently not. The last few uh, DEFCONs I've been to, they haven't really been all that drama-oriented. Uh, I, I wouldn't call it DEFCON. Now, 
if you want to talk about hope, hope has always been super political. And yes, a bunch of guys <clears throat> literally showed up to troll and a bunch of really emotionally weak people. So they knew it was going to happen. Now, but here's what gets me. They actually supposedly did some things that were worth kicking them out for because supposedly they were falling around people harassing them, supposedly. Then again, I have mm. these individuals. Is this that hope? Things to, to, it, yes. Uh, but those Adrian, it depends. Acerbated. I'm just going to say that. It, 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 anyone wearing a MAGA hat hope knows it's going to provoke people. That's not something you do innocently for you want to promote Trump. You, you do it at Hope because you know it will get people angry at you. Right. Because there's posters all around Hope uh, with some anti-Trump slogans, and mainly anti-alt-right slogans. Delete the alt-right, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, or, if brings up the alt-right, I automatically reduce a few IQ points because I've seen so many different people referred to as alt-right. I've seen black guys referred to alt-rights. I've seen trans women referred to as alt-right. I've seen gay dudes in interracial relationships referred to as alt right. Hey I've guys, seen... I'm back. I, I, I... Welcome back. Oh, you know what's to be, fuck to be fair, Adrian. Adrian. To be fair, Adrian. Milo Adrian kind of said he was part of the alt right himself. Yes, but that was back when the alt right was really ill defined and before everybody came to the Oh shit, Richard Spencer came up with the term. Okay, let's <clears> define <throat> it. Because at one time, there was actually a great alt right bought by um, Alan Bucardi and uh, Milo about what the alt right was at the time. And the, the, yeah, the, I remember that one. The film was very ill defined when uh, when um, Milo might have said that. It, they that meant, article they meant, gushing, new, they yes. meant new right. They meant new wonder. right when they said it. The the, the problem they, they is the alt writers, the alt writers will tell you they're alt right. They don't lie about it. They come out and they say, I am alt right, here's why. At this point, the, and then they the hand you a Hitler meme, yes. At this well, point, you know what? <laughs> At this point, the definition well, of white right is pretty much moved on to, um, oh, I guess white, white identitarian. And I wouldn't even call them right because if you listen to some of Richard Spencer stuff, he might actually legitimately be a national socialist because the, the economics that he espouses don't have anything to do with normal right leaning economics. Who's that? Richard Spencer. He might be. Um, oh, yeah, that guy's a uh, not talk. Uh, yeah. Yeah, most of the people I see identifying as alt right really like are active in politics and not to ship posters. They seem pretty consistently to be nationalists. Yeah, mm -hmm. that 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 they are. But I'm saying they're not necessarily. Um, well, the, the economic systems are, are not We're, traditional right leaning uh, economic systems. Yeah. True, right. but at the same time, who, uh, it's a party that defines the what right wing is at a, uh, at a given era. And I've heard some alt right and, people say some dumb shit. Like, you know, I heard of a guy named Millennial Rose. Nope. No. Uh. Uh. Who is Millennial it? Rose yeah. is a pretty prominent alt right guy. He's British. I, I don't think he really has a whole lot of. I don't think what I feel from him, he doesn't seem to have a whole lot of hatred in his heart. But he has this weird fetish for racial purity, which is just kind of odd to me. He once said something along the lines of, "Rather live in a nation full of um, white SJWs than uh, other races." who shared his political values. And I'm like, that is a weird fucking belief system to have. It is. And, and, and when kind of uh, Sargon of Akkad debated him, that's where I heard him, you're exactly like the social justice warriors mm -hmm. have the same way of attacking a problem. Um, you know, you use what they use, what they do to win or they're going to, you know, make them make it there on your side. Uh, is essentially what he said. Yeah, Sargon has a point um, about also. About I have lists. Sargon has a point about a lot, some of the alt right seeming a whole lot like SJWs themselves. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, they the, do. The, I'm sure you've heard yeah, of Alinsky. Sure. Uh, yeah. One of the things that um, is circulated very frequently around anything vaguely, so to say, with alt right is Alinsky's Rules for Radicals, which essentially means copying their opponent, the tactics of their opponents. Uh, and using it against them and everyone else. So, is, yes, they are like W's because they, they are copying SJWs. <clears throat> they the other don't really care about principle. They just care about defeating the other side. Now, see, the one time I saw... They have one principle. They have one principle. And that Triggering is the to liberals? create a white ethno state. No. Okay, <laughs> okay right? two principles then. <laughs> yeah, two principles. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is to get... To have a white ethno state, um, 
And when they talk about just talking about millennial woes and then the guy that scares the shit out of me, Jared Taylor. Um, yeah. when, oh, shit, man. We, I still have to debate between Jared Taylor and we did, And that goes exactly the way you think it would. Ugh. Yeah. Taylor and, makes my skin crawl. Same here. There's something about him. And I, I when I talk to people about him, I can't explain. Well, the thing is, I, 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 he, I the, the debate between him and, and uh, Tariq Nasheed, one's white, one's black. Both are pretty fucking racist. The thing is, Jared Taylor is much more articulate. It comes off, you know, he, he's much more compelling. Charismatic. Well, he, what's wrong, what's it was wrong, like a um, like Yale professor and some, some shit. But where I was going with that was they start talking about creating an ethno state, a white ethno state. And they say, well, how would you accomplish that? And their thing was, well, um, we are going to make society put pressure on society to say uh, blacks and Hispanics are no longer allowed in our states. And then he goes, well, what about uh, couples that are black women or whatever? Um, and he goes, well, then we also have society to pressure them uh, to make them believe that that is not right. So when they go, well, what do you do if they don't? They won't answer. But here's here's the thing that and like I said, and again, what is it's just amazing how people hate other races so bad that they just just disappear. Like I don't I, know, it's just I don't <laughs> I don't believe Jared Taylor, at least from what I heard him say. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything about him. Right. It doesn't sound to me like he has hate for other races. He does, he he's not a white supremacist. He wants no. He he thinks that a homogenous society would be better overall. That's his belief. He he yeah. doesn't he are better than other folks, and he says that um, quite a bit. His belief is we should be separate, um, should. which is something uh, Tariq Nasheed or some people from Roots might hold as well. That black people should have their own society. Yeah. Um, pretty strange you know what? Um, but he does make my skin crawl and uh, but the, here's the thing i don't agree with utterly that. Despicable. I don't, that's what i'm saying like that talk like right there like separate i don't agree with because then that means you're missing out on Absolutely great people enough. like you're missing out on you're missing out on great people um no matter what their race is you're, you're gonna miss out on a great bunch of people because Yep. Every everybody of one race is not all cool. Like every I'm everybody that's um everybody that's um black is not cool. Like you know what I mean? It's, it's good people in all places, but we got this. Can you imagine a white society without black folks? How bad the music would be? Stop. <laughs> not even just not even just the music. There would be no peanut butter. There'd be no jelly. Well, there would be no stoplight. Know. Peanut butter was actually invented by, I think, technically, well, maybe not Ricky's people precisely, but other Hispanic <laughs> Carver. He, yeah, George but Washington just, Carver, he made something like a hundred different for peanut butter and didn't think about well, crushing the spread. Did, did one of the purposes involve dogs? <laughs> Probably wow. genitals with it and let the dog go loose. But, uh, but, do, you, so, but do you know why? Do you know why uh, George Washington Carver chose the lagoon? No. I feel a joke it, incoming. No, it, it, nah. it it's because it's because while he was at Tuskegee, uh, there was the boll weevil plague that was tearing the fuck out of the cotton, and he oh, wanted to. Oh, that's farmer. right. And he wanted to provide farmers an alternate crop that wasn't affected by the weevil, and he oh, wanted to. Provide, they, and he wanted to provide farmers an alternate crop that wasn't affected by the weevil. But but that's the thing. That's right. Entertainment piece out of it, right? Because there would be no entertainment. Let's just keep it real. There would be well, no dang. Well, life. take take the blacks and the Irish out, because that's where go. Yeah, but the no music came from, no, right? But no, and you were sitting. But here's the thing: there would be no like, like dancing because, like I said, there would be dancing, but it wouldn't be like how they dance and shaking butts and all that because that all comes from Africa. Yep. So yeah, there's, there's no debate. So, so, so on the positive end, 
Molly Cyrus wouldn't have fucking uh, made twerking popular. Hell no. Yeah. Wouldn't be no. no. And Molly Cyrus, and Molly Cyrus sings like a black woman. If you don't, if you never seen what Molly Cyrus sound like, where where does soul and R and B rhythm and blues come from? Yeah. But listen to all of them in the twenties and thirties. Treating people who are white them saying. But treating people who are white ethnicity, treating them seriously, it, it feels like no different than treating some random drunk person screaming about aliens probing yeah. his butt seriously. Yes. It's, exactly. Like why would you treat crackpot why are you yeah. treat those crackpots differently than any other crackpot? Right. Yes. It's it's no it's hundred percent. It, it might be a fun be, it's, that way. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. It will never happen. Uh, and it's foolish to talk or entertain the idea. It's, and it's, it's a fun um, thought experiment, it, like what ifs, because in the same vein of what ifs aliens aliens took over and enslaved humanity. Yeah, it's like, bombastic I mean, what ifs, but that's that's the limit could, of it. You could do it in a book. You could do it in your own home thing, thinking yeah. about it. But to get on stage and talk about it in front of thousands of people, it's going a little too far. That's like an alien. It. You're right. It's like an alien convention where people yeah, talk right. about being pro. Right now, Roseanne, it might Roseanne make sense at a comedy fun. club. Fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but, but Roseanne found out what it felt like to, like in this day and age, you have to. The day and age that we live in, you just got to be careful about what you're saying and be ready to live with the consequences of your words. It's right. not, and it's not just we, this day and age. Well, it's every age, but just I'm just saying, it's just, it seems like it's been more. Um, well, I, I'm sorry. You finish. You finish. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it was just it's just um, it seemed like it's a lot more sensitive in this day and age. People are a lot more sensitive and softer. Like back in the day, like and and people could attest to this and I'm pretty sure you could attest to this. Certain words that people said, it didn't bother nobody where they're calling the police or people getting suspended from school. You, you know what I mean? Like it, it just wasn't. It's like this generational is like a lot softer. They're more delicate. Oh yeah, I agree. Hey, I totally agree. Look, look forward so, to the hate uh, hate speech laws that could be incoming. Uh, yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Oh yeah, in Europe. Uh, oh, in Europe. Yeah, I was going to say in the U.S. That a lot of those are probably struck down, but in the First Amendment issues. You, you look, yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree, but we do have hate crime here. Mm-hmm. We yes. do. Yes, but does mostly, to my, if I understand that correctly, amplifying the penalties for an existing, like a violent crime. And just uh, uh, to be the devil's advocate here, mm-hmm. if somebody commits a crime against another individual, yeah, their motive is important in determining whether or not they're guilty. Yeah, and sure. determining yeah, the course. level of crime, what does it matter if I shoot a man in the head because, right. uh, I don't know, because he was walking down the street and I didn't like the way he looked, or because I shot a black man in the head because I hated black men? Right. What's the difference? Uh, I, now, what's the difference there? Why should an additional penalty be tacked on? I'm playing devil's no, advocate like, here. If you, oh, sorry, you go ahead. I'm not going to argue semantics. Um, well, that, that would come, What's... that would come from, um, that would come from historical patterns. So let's just say like, if that person was always known to hate a person of a particular race and then it comes to the, it comes to the forefront and it just so happens that the person that he shot was, well, black, it instantly becomes a hate crime or, you know, uh, that person was very vocal about uh, Hable just because of who they slept with, and he gets into a they get into a little dust up with a person who just happens to be gay. It becomes a hate crime, right? Is yeah. that now? We don't need to spend too much time on hate crime stuff. Uh, my point was, we do have hate crime in America right now. Um, that's not been around forever. It's it's a, a recent thing. The way the trend is going, I don't know. The Democrats are talking about hate speech laws now. The Supreme. Well, Supreme sorry Court, to, would it, to interrupt you real quick. Uh, since the yeah, cast yeah. still is live, um, 
I think that's pretty much the end of the infosec part of the cast. Or anyone wait, 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 who might still be listening at this point. We have one last thing in the show notes. Come up here, we discuss whatever. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. The last, uh, the yeah. last thing. Max Headroom Internet. Who, who yeah, so it? that's just a miscellaneous note for a reference to something that we referenced earlier in the cast uh, oh, for people to reference. check out. Reference about a reference. Oh, yep. okay. In that case, reference, reference. if you're all good, we'll go ahead offline now. Is that okay? Let's, yeah. off, let's offline yeah. and let's talk about stuff. All right, folks. I hope mm-hmm. to see y'all next Wednesday. I may even do an impromptu stream this weekend. Who knows? Because I found a new political test. <laughs> I love these things. They're like crack to me. I'm Actually, probably not going to be in the cast next Wednesday. But we'll miss you. Miss well, I'll, I'll, I'll probably see. I'll probably see you at DefCon. I'm not. I can't go to DefCon this year. No, oh, I didn't know that. Sorry, but I'll talk about that. I'll off, be there offline. But okay, uh, okay. I'll, I'll catch y'all. Hopefully, some of you next week. Later, right, guys. Buddy.